Hey, everybody. Today, so far, farm animals. <laughs> there is a slight difference between e and na. There is just a slight. <laughs> <laughs> the go to, go to frustration. Hi, everybody! Hello. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hello. We are everybody. We need you. We need all the friends. All the friends in chat for beef on technology. Beef the, on the, the stairs has been. The more post, the better chance beef on is going to be here with us today. So please. Yes. Please spam spam. Fight. Give us all the hop 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 hop. <laughs> Give us all of the hubbubs. Um, but hi, welcome in. How are you doing? Um, we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was I I am struggling today, uh, because I am on some lovely medication that is making my brain real sleepy. Yeah. Um, it literally says don't operate machinery or cars. Um. <laughs> So I've just been like trying to prepare for today <laughs> and the number of times I've just been going eh, just struggling. <laughs> so this is officially the mood. But yes, welcome in friends. We will introduce ourselves first and then we're going to say hi to all of you lovely beans. Um Let's Oh, what's the ambiguous order of introductions today? Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, I don't know actually. Um do I? Do I? Um we're going to start with <gasps> Alora. Hi. Hi Alora. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Great! I'm alone. <laughs> also known as Nye. And also known as Shark Luro. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Aluro other than she was a shark last week. <laughs> they um, were shark. They're a non binary half elf druid. Hey, yo. Yeah. <laughs> um, next, we're gonna go Ludo. Uh, with the fry. Yeah. <laughs> I am Ludo. I am <laughs> JC, aka Kyle Nadio, that playing Ludo Bayani. He is amazing. Thank you to, I can't read, I need to choose a better font. Somebody did something great, and I'm really grateful for it. Gray! Gray's a new Gray's follower. Gray's Tavern! You, Gray. Good old buddy Never Gray. heard of him. I'm Many kidding. Hi, it. Gray! Thanks for being here. <laughs> uh, I do games. I also play Ludo, and I'm super excited because I got my new friend, Franz. I got my Yay. baby cheeks. <laughs> and uh, we're going to break up this session. Yeah! Oh. Hearts oh. in the chat if you want to oh. see him break up. Let's see. Oh. Oh Hearts my god. In the chat if you want to break up. Say no, no. in the chat. <laughs> so, if oh, you oh, want my to god. Break up. oh my god. Oh my god. There's no heart. See nobody oh. wants it. It was a test. Oh my god. You're scared. I was going I was going to jokingly say like the only person who's heard the Ludo like vocal fry would be Umbrelai. Hello. Um this but but tired. then you then now you're just like just, just broken up. <laughs> Big ol' steam engine like that needs a lot of energy, and afterwards, you know, it's gonna it needs some time to cool down. Uh, uh, uh mm, mm -hmm. yeah, refuel. <laughs> I'm scared for her. Uh, I'm scared for everyone. Um, speaking of <laughs> question mark, uh, <laughs> weird segue, ominous segue, Tarquin. Hello, everyone. This is Tarquin, and welcome to Tales of Tarquin. Um, <laughs> Dude. 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 Fuck, I knew I made the wrong title. <laughs> uh, and I am played by Darian, which uh, I, I think you all know. And if you don't, you should. But 
Anyways, uh, I think um, that is a good introduction. The rest will be history. So thank you for having hey. your attention here, for being in the chat, and I chat. hope you enjoy it. Roll a d20 to see if you remember Tarquin. <laughs> yeah, I'm rolling a d20 oh. right now. Do I remember Tarquin? I rolled a natural five. <laughs> I see you yeah. 13. 13 okay. ain't bad. Yeah. Uh, that, that's very good. That's very good. You survived. <laughs> 14. 14 to remember. 14. Yes, that's yes. it. Yes. And of course, we do have beef on, but we are currently separated, unfortunately, Alas. Alas. by the technical difficulties. If we are able to get beef on with us, um, we certainly will. If not, that is no worries. We're just going to have a mini one on one session that you guys don't get to hear about. Um, so he's going to come back with some spicy news like next time. So. That's something to look forward to, I guess. But hopefully, hopefully, we do get beef on this session. Please, please believe in beef on, and the beef on will maybe appear, despite any technological difficulties. But we still love beef on, played by the wonderful Dime Package. Beef on is a beefy, beefy, beefy. Um, <laughs> uh, the only word in my head right now is like it's looking for the other words. And it's all just beefy. It's just a cloud of the word beefy. <laughs> Beefy, beefy, fearbolg. Beefy, beefy, fearbolg. And we love, we love him. Hashtag believe in beef on. Yep. Hashtag believe. V, thank you for the 500. Yum, yum. Yes. Thank v you so much. Thank you, V. It says Tales thank of you. Tarquin for the win. Who? Yay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> nah, I I'm like, taking I like over. Tarquin. I'm looking forward to the day that I canonically as the DM remember <laughs> roll these freaking dice. <laughs> Maybe I get advantage because I made. Nah, still a 13. That's, that's better. But. Hey, V with another 500 yum yum. Hey, yo! Believe in Beefon! Wee wee. But yes, until then, let's say hi to you guys. Hello, Pamtown, who says, Yas! Uh, I just. Had to, I had to. Uh, hello, I'm Simply Ness! Hello! Hello, J heard heard of them as well, JC, and then JC said, and then Jakur said. Oh. Um, Rihanna, Willow Gray, hello Rihanna, hello Zombie V, hello Vivid Lee, hello Volcanoes Thirteen. Is that like Oceans Eleven, but Volcanoes Thirteen? Yes. Um. <laughs> hello, Hazwani Yuki. Hello, Fnaf Fan Lolbit. Hello, Haraya. Hello, friends. I hope I'm not missing anybody. I'm not good. I'm not fair. I <laughs> hi. I'm a voice actor. I can't read. Um, <laughs> we okay. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think that's everybody. I think that's everybody. Crystal. I don't. I don't want him. Thank you so much for the biddies. We will have all the fun, especially because you guys are here. Crystal, we, thank we have you for fun the when yum you yums. guys have fun. And once again, we're saying hello to you now because we will begin. Oh, Monty! Monty sneaking in! I love Monty! Muffy Monty! Um, yay! Hi, Monty, my IRL friend. Well, not IRL friend, but uh, <laughs> the other D original D and D group friend. Yeah, Monty is great, great DM. Um. And oh my goodness, V with another four, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hundred. <laughs> Y'all yes. make me do math. In your favor. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank Level you one so of the hype train complete. Oh, choo. we have a train. Choo choo. Can I? Can we actually have a train? It's just One a train day. of friends. Yeah. It's just a friend train. It should be a train, friend like train. all of us, like peering out of the different windows, little chibi versions of us waving. Tarquin Can at the I top. Have a uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Aww. Yes. <laughs> just hands on hips. Just da da. But yes, hello everyone. It's so lovely to have you here. Thank you for all the support and the hype train already. 
crazy. You crazy people. So we crazy. love you. So crazy. Uh, we're saying hi now because we will begin the mandatory ignoring of you <laughs> shortly. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely mandatory. Um, this is because immersion. We still see you. We still see your comments. Sometimes we reply to them when we can. Um, we do appreciate them. We do read them. Please do send them along. Don't be like, oh, well, they can't see me. I'm not going to post anything. It's like, we, we <laughs> hear. We love you. We also love Aviaki because they made, um, Aviaki because they made the wonderful friends emote. Thank you, Avia. We love you, Avia. Mandatory ignoring. We love it. It's Thank for you so them. much. We love it. Yeah, we're, we like, <laughs> we're ignoring you, but like, I guess, I guess you're okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, send your love to Avia this is on Twitter and same name makes amazing art and made our friends. Made our friends. Um, but yes, we will begin mandatory ignoring you <laughs> shortly. Um, so that we can get immersed in the world. Yes. And you are welcome to join us being immersed in the world. But please also do uh, live tweet along your reactions and chats with stuff because it is hilarious and it makes me happy and makes all of us happy and is thoroughly entertaining. And who knows, we might even corpse if we read something real funny in chat. Um, I'm just, shit, I just corpse all the time because you guys are funny. Um... <laughs> Oh no, my butt! Really? For absolute real? That is friends. Um, <laughs> that's so spot on. Reese's <laughs> friends is the epitome of the. That's my boy. Oh no, oh, my no. boy! Audio clip. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, I don't think there's anything else for right now. Hashtag believe in Bifon. And uh, with that, I feel like I forgot. Oh, mm. I always forget this. Hi, I'm Key. I'm the DM. <laughs> It's like who this who this I am I am key I I am DM um this is uh this is this is my world you're in my domain no that's um we, we this is a world that uh me and a lot of lovely friends have created over time uh via starting out like 7 years ago on Facebook Messenger of all things okay. um and now we're here it started as a joke um, is friends the only bird that has um, been baffled at its at its human companions having um, sexy times? Surprisingly not. Um, surprisingly not. That is just a thing that has occurred in the world more than once. Um, but yes, it is an honor to DM for these wonderful adventurers. It is an honor to tell stories alongside them, for for you, just for you. Thank you. And we we are crafting this all together. I'm giving these guys way too much agency. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of, <laughs> let us begin today's episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, the music can quiet when it needs to. The music is really on my side for this campaign, I've got to say. Right. <laughs> the festival of the hunt so far has gone down a treat. Teams of hunters and adventurers the world over, including our own team, have come face to face with a greater spined Wolganon, the Bulbiaris of the Ashen Seas, as well as many friends, foes, and indeed fears. Not to mention the odd curiosity and seagull along the way. <coughs> Pardon me. Not far from Ash Sky, dear audience, you'd see a large vessel bound from the Corsicals. One carrying the newlywed Prince Wilbur with an H. Just because recent where, events. Where? Uh, hmm? Where is the H? That's a really good question. Is it Wilbur? <laughs> it is Wilbur. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid now. It's just going to be referred to as Wilbur. Then <laughs> one carrying the newlywed prince Wilbur and Lady Morena, recently married in the ladies' hometown, surrounded by both of their families. 
They brace against the rails of the skyship, the ocean's wind, its paler wood decorated with bright golds and swathes of fabrics of the richest hues. The prince's hand rests atop his bride's, taut with trepidation and a slight tension that naturally comes with being far from home in many aspects of the term. She leans into it, anticipating their landing soon, the slight drone to the billows of magic pushing them forward, enough of a distraction to take in the panorama of a sky melting from cerulean to dusk. Adventurers, meanwhile, recover from the event's proceedings. A few more campfires have appeared around the campsite, crew members passing out soft blue embroidered towels and blankets for both Victor and the less successful teams alike. As evening begins to creep to night, we find Bifon, Tarquin, Aluro, and Luto at one such campfire, joined by Amelia. So with that, close your eyes, picture this new world before you, and join us as we once again venture into the world of Issafray and the Isles of Ashsky. For the tales of the day. <laughs> So we will say for the sake of uh, at the moment that um, um, our dear our dear Bifon has wandered off for some just chills and relaxations, maybe some rests uh, for the evening, um, so that we may not let him miss out on too much. Alas. Hashtag believe in people. Right, so you're all surrounding, uh, surrounding this campfire, kind of quite tall, roaring, and just keeping you nice and warm and cozy after, um, yeah, very wet. Happy Valentine's Day and eventful day. Um. Yeah, Amelia's there. Um, there are some other adventurers there. Um, some of them are familiar to you. Some uh, you see uh, a couple that were on one of the losing teams from earlier. A uh, a, a drow woman and a I wonder I want to say a half elf, but I can't honestly remember. <laughs> 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 Uh, that's embarrassing. Um, yes. <laughs> but you see them kind of nearby wrapping up and, um, having a little chat together. Um, what would you like to do? The evening is yours. Uh, Ludo would like to kind of lean in close so that it's just his closest friends. Uh, Aluro, Tarquin, and Amelia. And kind of be a uh, hey, everybody, can I, can I talk to you about something? It's a little personal. Oh? What's on your mind? It's just, uh... You know Amberly? Yes. Yes. Oh, that, uh, hot chick you're with? Yeah, yeah. You see, uh, I won her in a contest. I do a contest, I play um, the game, and then she become mine. And ever since then, it seemed like, I don't know, it's like it gets so complicated, you know? Buddy, I don't, I don't think you won her. I think you, you, you didn't, it huh? was more like a, you, you, you more so win the experience in the tent with whoever you were paired with, you know what I mean? So like... Myself and Bifon, we matched. We didn't win each other. But oh. then if we wanted, we could go to the tent and have whatever was in... I think I saw a kiwi in there. Um, so. And we can, like, hang out and bro out, but we just went for a drink and shit, so... It's like a rental. Like rent renting. Well, but free. And the the rental is is the is the prize. Yeah. Oh, well, can't I just do that even without a contest? What? what? I just uh, can I mean, yeah, but you have to provide the kiwis and the and the tent and Oh, Barry, it was everything. a very nice tent. Got ru ruined. Uh, 
huh? After me and her? Wow, ruined <laughs> there. A gentleman never tells, right, Tarquin? But, uh, ruined, Indeed. my friends. Ruined in there. Oh. She's playing some noises, I heard. So, we, you know, we have a good time, make a lot of noises, and then, I don't know, today she says, she says like, uh, what was it? She said, uh, what, uh, what are we to you? What, what is, well, well, what even is that? What does that mean? What are we to you? Oh boy. One of you guys want to take this one? And, um, well, um, <laughs> uh, the question is here, Luto. Do you like her that much? You want to continue seeing that person and keep her with you? Well, you know, I've, of course, been with a lot of ladies, okay? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> always I just go there, usually give them little money. Sometimes we go on a little date, have a couple drink, and then the next day I, I have to go because, you know, there's no monsters out there, no adventures. I cannot stay in one place. Uh, so I think at first, Amber Lie is like that. We just, you know, one time and then, okay, bye bye. But ah, she's very special, huh? Something about her just is very nice. Like I want to see her even more than one time. Can you believe that? Even more than one time? Can you believe that? Well, I, I mean, here's a th here's how I see it, buddy. Cause uh, I phew, like she she's cool, you know. But uh, you're kind of high maintenance, you know. Huh? Like, well, <laughs> you don't seem it, right? Cause you're you, you know. You're great, I and mean, we love you for that. Oh, but thank you, Millie. Uh, that's okay. You might just save the thanks. Um, <sighs> do you know? the lengths that, like, your friends had to go to, to still be friends with you? Like... Just purely with the traveling. Oh. Because, like, you'd be in a place for one, two days, most, maybe. Three if you had, you know, one day with a galley you really, really, like, really, really liked, you know. But then you just move on. And sometimes that would be halfway across the world. Sometimes that would be less far across the world, but still a considerable trip. And when you're having these, you know, little flangs <laughs> with with people, they can't just drop everything and come with you. So, for me, your bro, uh, and one of your friends may be able to correct me if I'm wrong. If she asked you that, she didn't say, you know, oh, are you going to be leaving soon? Are you, like, where are you going next? She didn't say any of that. She asked you, like, hey, what is this? And I don't know. To me, that kind of says she's thinking about it. And she's maybe considering her next steps in life being the same as yours, you know? Oh. What, what, what are your guys' next step in life? What are you going to do after this? Mm. I don't know. This uh, whole adventuring thing seems like a massive, massive task, but a very exciting one. I... Yes, I, I believe that uh, our destinies are intertwined, but I believe that also this person that you're with uh, she might see things differently, so that's something you are gonna have to talk with her. If she's interested in keep being you or following your path, or maybe she has other plans and her travels will take her somewhere else. Perhaps that is why... Oh, sorry. Oh, 
I, um, I, uh, I don't know. I, I was, depends if I win or not, I guess. <laughs> you know? Like, I just, uh, hoping for some kind of gig after this. Go adventuring. But, uh, yeah, I don't know either. I'll say. Well, uh, do you want to know what is my plan, friends? <laughs> oh, and you friends, all of you friends, everybody friends. All the friends. <laughs> yeah. So what's on your mind? What are you going to do after this? Well, I come here for the hunt because there's probably going to be very delicious monsters. And I cannot wait to cook the vulgar nun and the giant fish. And then I'm probably going to win because we're very good. I'm very good. You're very good. You're all very good. And then I just go on another adventure, probably. Did you forget that I'm also in the final and we're kind of going to be going up against each other? Oh, Mealy, come on. Okay. I'm sure it I'm will be I a just good fight, but uh, you know. Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna beat your ass, but uh, <laughs> no, it'll it'll be a good fight for sure. You already lost, so you're gonna lose twice. Oh really? Yes, of course. Huh? Is that why you gave you managed to get me my uh my thing back from the last round? You were like, no, we're gonna make sure that we can go and beat Melia's ass. Interesting yes. tactics. Thanks, though. I I do it appreciate works. that. Yeah, you know. It's because I miss you. I want to see more of you. Oh. So come, I, come on, man. So, so even I'm if I soft. lose, if some by weird, some weird way, I'm with the legendary Tarquin and Alora with her amazing bag of cats, and I still happen to lose somehow. Well, still I'm gonna go adventure, and hopefully, if you wanna come with me, we go together, and Amberly. If she want to come, she can come too. And if she want to go somewhere else, that's okay. I think even though I go here, I go there, I think my heart, it will stay with her. Have you told her that? No, usually not a lot of talking when we're, you know. <laughs> you should I tell uh, her Might that, be a good idea. <laughs> okay. I mean, look, I'm all into the sexy shit, but, you know, a little conversation either end. Maybe some days where you just talk. <laughs> really? Even if you're just hanging just out. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't have to be, like, about sexy stuff or an anything serious. You can just be like, hey, like, what was your favorite food? And it's like... Yeah. I know she, she can't cook eggs. Not very good cook eggs. Oh, well. she told me about her childhood a little bit. She said everybody thinks she's fancy rich, but uh, actually not really fancy rich. Something like that. Just talk. Hmm. Wow, okay. It's c it sounds crazy, but I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes talking is all there is. I like talking with you. We actually don't talk very much, the three of us. It's a shame Bifon isn't here, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go see uh, where Beefy Guy is. Uh, I want to thank him for... Well, I mean, I need to thank you guys more officially for uh, covering my ass when that bitch came and tried to steal all my stuff. Um, that was, that was intense. Can we talk about it? Like, that was so intense, right? Like, I was not expecting Yanka Moss to do that. That was Try and steal weird. my. Why'd she do that? Well, she wanted a place in the final, but, like, I thought she had a smidge of honor about her. All the stories about her kind of suggested that she has honor and grace, but... Oh, you know honor. what really bothers me? Is the people that think they are so great and think they are the best in the world and all of that. Oh, yeah? You know, that's the kind of person Jenka is. She thought she was a one-woman army and could take 
everyone, and in the end she ends up stealing because she doesn't have the talent. I'm gonna do a quick roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost comedic at this point how I've just don't roll above a 10 for the Tarquin <laughs> rolls. It, it's... I'm genuinely stumped. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Out of curiosity, what would an advantage be? Well, that's an 11. That's still... Okay, that's above a 10, but still. Um, yeah, you you kind of expect someone with such a legendary name to kind of, I don't know, not be a dick. Exactly my point. So, yeah, so that was a bit disappointing, but I don't know. We will beat her. Just hey. like we beat everyone. Well, if you guys ever become heroes, I'm sure you'll be a good role model for everyone. Yes. Yes, we will. Alright, I'm gonna go find Beefy. You guys, uh, enjoy the fire. And she, um, kind of pats you all on the shoulder as she heads off. See you later. Bye, Mili. Peace. Bye! <laughs> Yeah, she did ask just, please. <laughs> what about you guys? I come here because lots of good food. Why did you come here? I know it's a, it's a big hunt, right? Why, why, how come you want to go to the hunt? Yours. Well, personally, I think it, uh, it's always good, you know, to go around, travel, meet new places, people, and get uh, more recognized by everyone else. I personally uh, have been sent out of the monastery to travel around and do good deeds and, well, it doesn't hurt if you are recognized to do that, you know. So, I heard about the hunt and I said, well, that's a place for Tarquin. I didn't know originally whether I was going to do the hunt or not, actually. I came because I was looking for potential work and then I kind of just got caught up in all of this and here we are hmm. well I'm glad we got to be together with Tarquin right Aluro it's not every day right. you need a legend like this wow for real yeah you are in the winning team my friends that's why I, you know it's okay for me to give trinket to Janka, because uh, we're going to win anyway, even if she's there or she's not there. Yeah, that was a very, a very kind gesture of you to give her hope, but that's okay. As you, uh, as you're talking, you see uh, a couple of the um, adventurers who um, were huddled up, kind of a few. If you think of, like, layers of circles emanating out from the campfire, uh, you see kind of where Amelia was uh, taking up space. Uh, you see the drow woman and the seemingly half-elven woman. Uh, I did check. I was okay. Uh, <laughs> move closer uh, to the center. Um, the uh, half-elven woman, kind of the smaller of the two, definitely looks a little bit chilly. Um... The drow woman is um, just in a very casual outfit. Um, you did notice uh, as you were going into the second round that she was just kind of wearing a bardo shirt and trousers, and that was kind of it. <laughs> um, and she still is. Uh, no shoes, um, no blanket or towel or anything. Um, but she is kind of... Um, she's not so much sitting or sitting on one of the logs that are nearby or pillows or cushions or anything. She's just more so perching like a bird um, on, on one of the uh, surrounding logs as her friend kind of huddles up and, and tries to get warm. And, uh... <laughs> Orla, Orla's... Oh, you don't know her name, but you know, if you do, it would be Orla. Um, she... <laughs> the drow woman uh, kind of tilts her head slightly. Like a confused cat, um, and is kind of not analyzing you guys, but it is an interesting um, 
look that she's kind of giving you all. Hello, want some fish too? Mm. I do rather like fish. Have you got some to share? Oh yes, the fish are very big. I'll be, uh, mm. I'll have been preparing and s slow cooking a, like one of the many big fishes I got from the ocean. Yes. There's a little sneak peek of the big feast to come. Nice. The bul bulbiars. Yes. Um, yeah, it, it, it appears initially that it's kind of quite rubbery fish. Um, but as you kind of slow bake it in the stew, um, it kind of, um, the kind of inner meat itself comes out more tuna-like, um, but the parts of the tail and fin, uh, are more squid-like in texture oh. and taste. Okay. Ooh. Ourselves a nice little seafood stew. A jambalaya. Heck yes. Is my friend here allowed some? She's quite cold. Oh, you don't have to do that. I'm perfectly fine. It's really cold. <laughs> I'll come by the fire. Uh, you don't mind, right, guys? No, not at all. Of course, join us. She oh. kind of boot scoots closer. <laughs> in her wrapped up in many blankets. Um, Orla, um, the drow woman, just kind of appears closer. She just stalks through the night. <laughs> And uh, perches on a on a closer bench to you guys. I'll start uh, ladling up some bowls for him. Thank you. You're so, the top team, it would seem, then. Of course we are. <laughs> Did you see us? We got four trinkets. Not one, not two, four. So you did. Very skilled indeed. Oh, yes. And you should have seen us underwater. Ha! That was great. I mean, we were the other side of the water, so we didn't really get opportunity to see. Regretful. But uh, you are... you are from my race. I am, I suppose. Uh, let me ask you, what is your name first? Because I don't know who you are. <laughs> That's cra that's crazy because I haven't accidentally said it twice now or anything. Oh. <laughs> that's that's Keith's fault. Uh, my name's Orla, and this is my friend Zephyr. And Zephyr just kind of ladles some of the soup into her mouth and just, mm. hi, mm. sorry, just, this is really good. Hi, nice to meet you both. And I'm curious, where are you from? Oh, you know. Here and there. She kind of <laughs> widens her eyes slightly and grins as she says that. Uh, She's uh, given off some are... slightly creepy vibes. <laughs> 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 creepy curious, creepy curious. I'll um, post a picture. I see. If I can find one. But yes, we've, uh, it's been hard not to notice your team's accomplishments. You're rather skilled. Yeah, we're pretty yes, good. Yes. Probably gonna win, right? Mm -hmm. I hope so. Probably gonna win. I would bet money on it. Maybe I have already. See, I like that. You, you are very smart. Thank you. Uh, the, the reason why I asked you where you're from, because, believe it or not, uh, I haven't met many people from our race. Well, I am a half-elf, actually, but uh, there's drow blood on my veins, and I kind of would love to know more about where we come from and, and see more about that, because uh, there's very few of ours around here. Of course. Um, her neck kind of... She's quite bird-like in her movements. Um, kind of head twitches and as she thinks. Um, you can kind of see the thoughts going through her brain. But you can't tell what those thoughts are. Quite unpredictable. Well... Very mysterious. Yeah. 
It is rather dark. Though, that's to be expected. It is why our eyesight is so good, is it not? Yes, yes. So, dark vision always comes helpful. Absolutely. Um, there's the odd glowy thing, lots of different families and structures. Lot of political nonsense and family arguments and all that good stuff. And spiders, right? Hmm, more frogs than spiders. A lot of people presume they're spiders because it's dark. But I prefer the frogs and the toads. Interesting. I will have to do some research. You really should. I mean, if you want to. There's a reason I left. So. Oh, you so see... you're not planning on going back? Yeah, you see her friend kind of look up from her bowl. There is. Oh, yes, and no, I'm not going back if I'm given the opportunity. Um, I would... Mm. <laughs> it's quite a funny story, really. I was supposed to wed a businessman from here, somewhere. Or prince or something, I don't know. It was one of those. He was important, supposedly. And, uh, I was dropped off, and, uh, I just walked in a direction and kept going, and now I'm here. And is anyone actually looking for you, or did you just completely left that behind? I don't know, really. I don't believe I've encountered anyone from home. They are probably looking, though it was rather an important business deal that was being done. Um, but I didn't feel like it, so I'm here now. Mm. Well, there's always time for an adventure. No, I suppose. I just like napping. Nothing so, wrong with the nap. <laughs> exactly. You smell odd. Me? Yes. Well, you all smell distinct. You especially have a strange odor to you. It's intriguing. Well, I do tend to spend a bit of time around cats. <gasps> the precious. Would you like it if there happened to be a friend manifested before you? Yeah, she's, she does suddenly notice the seagull. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to put you out of your way. Is that a bird? Is that a trained bird? Are you a falconer of the sea? <laughs> oh, this uh, this is just a uh, prince, my friend. He's called friends. I, I named him after my friends. Have you got a friend called Friends, or is Friends just a friend that's named after Friends as in the concept of Friends, rather than a friend called Friend? Huh? Is Friends named after a friend called Friend, or is Friends named after the concept of Friends rather than a friend called Friend that you happen to have who is a friend also? Can you say it again? Of course. So, <laughs> is Friends... Uh. Named after one of your friends who happens to be called Friends. Uh. Their parents birthed them from their birth canal and named them Friends. Or perhaps maybe adopted, I don't like to judge. Uh -huh. Or is it more likely, or do you even know, that you named this wonderful seagull Friends after your friends, as in the concept of Friends that you have who are your friends? Rather than a friend that you have by the name of friends. I'm not, I'm failing to see what's unclear. These two, and then one more, are my friends. And then... Yes. 
I named the bird after my friends. So is everyone's name here friends? No, that's no it's the the concept, it's my darling. It's conceptual. That's all you had to say. It's conce conce consensual. Con that also it's is important. Consensual, yes. Yes. Con consent is also very Always important. Always consensual. May I pet him? Them. Friends. Friends, you wanna let this nice person pet you? Oh, looks like maybe that's a no. I'll hand him up a piece of fish. Uh, you can try. Maybe on the hat. <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna do a, a animal handling check. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that, of course, of course, of course. Um, of course. <laughs> uh she kind of uh for lack of a better description, kind of Tarzan crawls over and um, pulls out of a little uh, pouch around her. As, and as she moves closer, you see the, the Bardo shirt that she's wearing that she also wore under the ocean. Um, is like a really high quality silk. Um, and the same for her kind of wide-legged um, trousers that are pretty much almost floor length, but for the room that allows you to see that she is barefoot. Um, and they are beautifully embroidered towards the bottom with varying patterns and swirls of different colours. Um, and she reaches down into her pocket and pulls out, um, what would appear to be a freeze-dried, maybe <laughs> three centimetre squared, uh, frog. <laughs> just, just like roadkill freeze-dried <laughs> um jerky-ish and um she she hands it over to um to friends and he kind of looks at it for a second looks looks at dad <laughs> uh, and, dad looks at the, and looks at the frog and just And she and you see, <laughs> you see Orla just kind of flick her wrist, kind of almost in a half spin. <laughs> and you see that friends just poddles round in a circle on your shoulder. <laughs> and she tosses the frog in the air, and he goes, <coughs> "Ah, not trained, but full of potential." Interesting. He's a smart little guy. Very good. <laughs> and goes back to her little bird perch and then takes one of the frogs out and eats it herself. Uh, <laughs> Zephyr kind of looks to the three of you and just mouths, She is a bit weird. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I like it. I like weird. Weird is weird is good. We're all pretty weird. <laughs> Al has a big bag full of cats. That's pretty weird. Turn that is shark. pretty weird. Pretty weird. Pretty yeah. weird. That would explain the smell. Um, so, you see Zephyr is kind of finish eating. Have you guys, uh, explored any of the, uh, shrines yet? We explored the shrine of searching. Not oh, right. too long ago. Ah, Tefim is a sweetheart, isn't he? <laughs> Absolutely. May I ask if there was anything specifically you were searching for? Well, um, like I said, I didn't come here originally thinking that I was going to be a part of a great battle or great challenges. And so I asked the group that we 
go there to see if maybe this was the right move for me or for them. She's gonna roll an insight check on you. <laughs> That's terrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> shit. Um, right. So, were you were here for a pilgrimage initially? I was here looking for potential work. I have done leather smithing before. Oh, I see. Oh, this isn't the town for leatherworking. I would be curious to see your wares, though, as a pursuer of textiling myself. As you can tell, obviously. Well, I don't have anything on me now except for what I'm wearing. But, uh, I was originally looking to see if I could apprentice somewhere. That's what I'm used to. Mm. Uh, may I? Of course. Tarzan crawl <laughs> just just really without touching like there's an invisible force field around you just inspects all the little uh stitch work and leather bits occasionally kind of flicks some of it there's a point where she gets like a little stone out rubs it against the leather and then smells it where she rubbed it and goes hmm you generally seem to be quite talented thank you I will let you know if I find any positions of interest. Well, now all of that has gone to the wind, almost. With um, this trial, anyway. Though, I'm not sure what I'm going to do after it. So, maybe it is a good idea to have a backup. Well, uh, we can help out. I mean, uh, we know a fair few people around here. I mean, once they all get back from the ceremony, that is. Yes, that is true. The family do always look for new, talented tradespeople. Whether they'll have any work here specifically, though, I don't know. I'm sure Wilbur will be arriving any moment shortly. Sorry, said anyway. Wilbur? Yes. Um, <laughs> she, she just, yeah, she just ends on the Cheshire crack grin. Um, yes, uh, we, we are, uh, you know, fair acquaintances with, uh, with the, with the family here. The, um, I guess royals, <laughs> if, uh, you were to call them, uh, that officially. Um, that's more so, um, Orla's. Um, or Orla's pursuit. Yes, they are quite a lovely family. Quite normal. Shame, really. But you might get on with them well. We are due to have dinner tomorrow night, after the event. You'd be welcome to join us. Do you... Z Zephyr kind of just tugs her shirt real quick. Do you, do you actually mean that this time? Because you said that before and they weren't expecting us. Oh, it'll be fine. They let you stay, didn't they? Well, well yes, but... Yes, of course you're invited. Oh, might be nice to have dinner with some royals. See what kind of food they eat in here. I bet they oh, have the very, best food there. They're very casual royals, you know. At home, it's more like, oh, kneel down before the king and queen of it. Like, nobody cares, you know what I mean? It's all pomp and farce and weirdness and no time for it. Whereas here, it's just, you know, it's chill. I like a chill. I bet you do. Do we have anything scheduled for the following evening as far as, I, as we know? Only the trial. Oh, it's happening then. Yeah, so it will be um, she said after the trial. So um, you assume that the event tomorrow will be kind of afternoon, uh, duskish. Uh, but this would be in the evening after. So it would you'd have like a a couple of hours after the event to 
Get ready and visit. Uh, what do you think? That is if you survive. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> You guys want to have dinner with all the royals after we win? Yes, um, I think uh, that we won't be able to escape that even if we wouldn't want because when we are crowned as champions, uh, they will want to meet us, right? Oh, of course, of course. Very smart. True. Yes, it's also total bullshit that uh, Yanka got through. I know you were being nice and all, but... Don't you find it odd? Well, you know, people like that, they don't believe they can be beaten, they need to cheat their way. So the only way to beat them is honestly and in front of everybody. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, well, yeah, we are looking forward to seeing that, but... I mean, she failed the first round completely. That's enough to get you kicked out. Why was she there for round two at all? Exactly oh, yeah. my point. Nobody's really speaking on it. I wonder why. Maybe she got some kind of friends in high places. Oh. I would agree, but Miss Ikta definitely doesn't seem the kind to pander to that behavior. Hmm, mm, that's true. But how would she do that, then? Hmm. Her reputation precedes her. Maybe... other hunters would, uh, lose hope if someone with her notoriety was to go through beforehand. Although the same could be said for... our friend here. She looks to Tarquin. Well, we don't know her reasons, but uh, there's certainly something more than... What we already know. Perhaps she's not really in for the hunt itself, maybe. I don't know. She needs to get to the bottom of the, the whole thing and see, see what is going on. Perhaps she's not really competing. She's doing something else. He said bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see, uh. you see Orla kind of put her head on her hands. What do you mean by get to the bottom of it? <laughs> You're welcome. There might be more than meets the eye, if you will. Oh. You know, Are with you the rich people. that kind of thing? I am good at uh, seeing in the dark, but uh, recognizing the real intentions of people or maybe finding out some secrets, well, that is a different story. Hmm. Well, I had heard great things of you, Tarquin. I would hope that perhaps you would be able to achieve those things. Oh, I always achieve victory, but uh, solving mysteries? Hmm. I yet to become a detective. Well. That is interesting. Goes in her pouch and eats another frog. <laughs> so, do we just show up to the castle after we win, or...? Yes, if you wait outside the Colosseo on the Pinnacle Isle, that's the isle right at the top, uh, there will be a small area to seat at, and we, we shall meet you there. Mm, I'm so excited. I've never eaten with royals before. Oh, it'll be quite calm, I assure you. But yes, I am regretful we did not make it to the final round. Would be uh, curious to see how J Yinka, Jenka Moss ticks. That strange woman. So, um, I hate to bring it up again, but, uh, what, what did, uh, was Tefima able to help at the Shrine of Searching? Or? We found that hole, and then it disappeared, right? Yeah. 
you what? It's like a weird... We found... Yeah, what is that? There's like a glowing, some kind of hole. Sort of a rift in space and time. Weird. Some kind of magic <laughs> stuff. I don't even know what is that. Um, feel free to everyone roll an insight check for me. You don't need an insight check to see that Orla um, has found a bug that she's watching like a hawk. <laughs> I only rolled an 11. Okay. 18. Ooh. A lot of... 16. Nice. Um, Ludo, she is um, receiving that information uh, <laughs> and processing it. Um, the other two of you can see that um, it's almost as if you've said like not quite like a, a sleeper agent phrase, but you've definitely said something that uh, Zephyr thought that only she knew about, and she's a bit shook and doesn't know how to address it uh, openly. Oh! Oh, uh, really? That... Hmm. Uh, that does sound interesting. So, so just a hole in rea reality? Mm, and you saw that too, right? M me? Yeah. Oh, no. No. No? Are you sure? Yeah. You Completely sure? You may insight check again at advantage if you wish. <laughs> <laughs> you can insight check anyone at any point. Um... <laughs> By the way, uh, as we as we kind Ugh. of approach the end of Tutorial that's, Island, that's a four. I'm gonna roll again. Yeah, you get advantage, so. and you've still got. And that's a natural got... twenty. Oh, Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yay! Detective all... Tarquin on duty. You do all still have a D10 of inspiration as well from last week, so don't don't forget, don't forget. Uh, with a natural twenty. You can't. You can't, <laughs> do you kind of like do that eyebrow raise thing, or are you just <laughs> just really? Uh, how are you? How are you trying to read? Um, how are you trying to read Zephyr? Arms crossed, and uh, head tilted to the side a little, looking her up and down, oh. and saying, hmm. <laughs> "You know, <laughs> I am quite a legend. You're not going to fool me." I'm gonna roll a dice real quick. Oh! Okay. Um, I just need to find something really quick. <laughs> and roll for initiative. <laughs> yeah. No one lies to Tarquin. No I'm gonna one. Roll, I'm gonna roll something else really quick. Um. Oh my god! What a fucking wasted natural twenty. Um. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Orla catches the bug. Um, nice. And puts it in her pocket. Um, like, some, <laughs> just like catching a fly between chopsticks style. Um, and she begins to tie a thread to it and hold it on a leash. Um, I was just doing that for shits and giggles to buy me time, but that's incredible. Um, <laughs> uh, you see Zephyr um, kind of panic isn't the right word but she's definitely a bit uh shaken up and she's oh um mm, mm -hmm. uh yeah i didn't i didn't see it i didn't see the hole i think you're making it up and we should go and talk about it over in a tent somewhere okay so we don't want another set of ears listening. Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then let's continue talking with our very honest and open friend somewhere else. 
she she kind of gets up and immediately starts walking towards uh, a tent, kind of a few of the big tents down. It's kind of where the romance tents were, the romance tents were, um, but they're just regular kind of tents, um, slightly bit on the bigger side, um, enough for uh, enough about the same size really, kind of enough for a dining table and two chairs and some comfies at either end. But yeah, she just gets up and beelines like she really needs to take a piss or some shit. <laughs> just woo! <laughs> um, Ola, meanwhile, is is playing with her new um, her new ladybird um, tied to a string. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> um, and uh, she just goes, oh, you might want to follow her. She's having one of her tizzies again. I'll be here. I'll keep your spots. Okay, feel uh, free okay. to have more soup. Mm. Thank you, am I? So, you following, following her into, the, following her into the tent. Yeah, we'll trundle yep. a bobble yeah. after. Yeah. Didn't your mom's never tell you not to go into a tent with a stranger? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> Zephyr um, kind of goes and sits um, very uh, rigidly onto a chair and kind of looks at you all as you enter. Ah, <sighs> okay. Um, that would explain why Tefim has been acting weird and kind of just avoiding eye contact and everything. Oh my gods. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Ha! Ha ha ha! Hi! Um, uh, I've forgotten your names. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, Zef Zephyr. Um. I'm Ludo. Hi, hi, Ludo. Hi, I'm Aloro. Hi, Aloro. And you know who I am. I don't need to tell you. You're right. Uh, hi, Chakran. Um. Sharkwin? It's like, wait! <laughs> Shark, Sharkwin. Um. Oh. Not the music accidentally being slightly apt, but I'm saving this one. Um. Where is it? Well, this, this, this gets too intense for this, so. I <laughs> need, need something less, less that. I do love that song. Um. Perfect. Um, so, I don't really know how to tell anyone this, but y'all have clearly seen something, and I feel like I should probably share the information I have got. <laughs> um, hmm. So... I didn't see the hole. <laughs> but have you have you heard about the theories that this world is going through something? Everybody roll a history check for me, please. And that's a seven. Mm, okay. Got a 15. Ooh. I got a 14. Okie dokie. It was a 15 DC to pass. So, Laura, you're like, maybe it would depend what it is, but I don't really know. Um, Ludo, you've met some interesting people on your travels. Um, and indeed, you have met some people that some would consider um, conspiracy theorists. And, um... <laughs> Um, they were speaking and saying that 
things along the lines of, oh, the world is different now, and magic is bad for you, and crystals make you feel better. Um, and all of that stuff. A few of them would either mention or focus on or go on to say that the world was changing and with a 15 you remember them saying stuff along the lines of this is the beginning of a new era um cuz all you know th suddenly there's magic and then there's gods and demons and deities and stuff and this is Soon as you know it, everyone's gonna be coming here and taking our jobs and our homes and stuff. Uh, but they did mention, you know, the world changing, and that's relevant enough as, as you see it. Um. Okay, he'll say, so, he'll say something on the line. like, oh, I heard something about like that. Like, uh, uh, there's a lot more magic than there used to be. The gods are coming back for something. I think it means ultimately there's going to be a dragon and I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Interesting. Um, that is not where I was going, but um, you're partly uh, apart from the dragon, you're <laughs> you're kind of there. Um, so. <sighs> The world as we know it is circumastral, right? And that's something all of you would know is the era that you're currently in is circumastral, which is where, you know, spirits and deities and all of that stuff has been influxing. We, it is believed that by some, mostly on the outskirts and fringes, that uh, that is the era that we're in. I have considerable reason to believe that we are in a new era. And that it has something to do with the hole that you saw. So there's that. Like what's going to be coming out of the hole? More magic? It, it's... It's... Uh, it's not so much what'll be coming out of the hole. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> it's more so... the hole itself. Right? Because... the veil that keeps this realm together, that holds the magic in, that keeps other forces and other realms out. The whole is the seemingly the biggest evidence so far that um, that veil is um, scientifically fucked. And if there's a hole, then it's possible that there are other holes, that there are other tears, that there are more breakages, that there are more places where it's almost breaking, or places where it's broken in its entirety. And at that point, I don't think we have to wonder what's coming through from the other side. I think we have to wonder what's already made it and what it's gonna do. <laughs> you see what I mean? So you're saying that we may be at risk? Oh! 
Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, we may have been at risk for a very long time without knowing. Like, mm -hmm. p picture it, right? Uh, we are a little fish at the surface of the sea. And you know, we've dodged a couple of bigger fish that um, try and get a nibble in. Um, we've even befriended some of the fish. And they have offered us food and it's become symbiotic. Um... But the whole time... <laughs> It's that there's been something deep, 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 deep underneath it all. Uh, that is priming to eat us, maybe. And it's possible that some of the other fish that have been helping or feeding us might be working for whatever is down in the deep, 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 deep. Um, and maybe they've been setting us up for something, or maybe. I don't know. It's potentially very, very bad. And we're not necessarily going to know until it's too late. That kind of, that kind of bad. Yeah. Well, it does sound like a reason to be worried, but um, perhaps we can take on whatever challenge comes our way. Maybe the little <laughs> fish can actually have some bite. We don't know what's lurking. We don't know if it is fueled by bites. We don't know if it's anything we can even comprehend. We don't know. It's from a different realm. One we don't already know of. There are some we've had communications with, you know? Like, you and Orla were talking about where Drow are from. That's a realm that we're connected to. The Feywilds and the Court of the Fey, that is a realm we're connected to. But the gods know how many more there are. Yeah, but if there's bad guys, then we're just gonna hit them and then eat them, right? As long as they're not wearing anything, yeah. they're oh, on the menu. If they're bad guys with clothes, that's a problem. Oh. Um, she looks to Aloro for <laughs> moral support <laughs> in this moment. <laughs> so I understand there's a lot of uncertainty. Yeah. Um, there is, uh, quite, um, and before she can finish the sentence, um, you, uh, roll, everybody roll a perception check. 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 Everybody roll. Everybody roll. A natural one making it a three. Alora's just like picturing the universe in their mind right now. <laughs> just like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> wow, that's crazy stuff. Um, okay, I would say everyone except Aloro, um, you you hear uh, footsteps uh, enter, um, and uh, the kind of curtain of the tent open, and before you you see just default human person you just see like a a blonde man just regular clothes just like a civilian has just walked in on this entire discussion hello uh you're all kind of being noisy in here don't you think not supposed to be noisy? Nah, just feels like more important matters are at hand. And you all flinch as you feel a sudden burst of arconic energy sweep through the room, making your hairs on your arms stand on edge. A kind 
kind of cold, quiet calm surrounds all of you, um, even the tent itself, as well as Zephyr, who's like, what the fuck is going on right now? Um, <laughs> there's a lot of that. Um, and uh, you see that the man clicks, and where the click occurs, um, emanating from those two fingers and outwards. Happy Valentine's Day? Um, you see the man dissipate and another person's form apparate. Uh, you see a um, very tall figure. Uh, maybe less so for Luto. <laughs> Not quite as tall. Um, you see a tall figure um, kind of taupe um skin slightly textured almost fur like um kind of billowing um dark muted purple hair um and a very scholarly um but fashionable uh <laughs> kind of gown uh with an opening where you see uh some quite action packed boots for lack of a better word just some proper thigh highs, um, with a small heel, um, small, small enough to run in, high enough to look cool, uh, <laughs> and, um, from the top of her head you see two large rabbit ears kind of unfold upwards, and, uh, a quite narrow and pointed face. Um, adorned with uh, spectacles adorn uh, attached with many lenses, miniature lenses of different kinds at the sides. And she kind of looks at you, folding her arms. <sighs> I was rather hoping not to have to do that for now. But I see things are going a bit faster than I was ready for. Elora, you know exactly who the fuck this is. The other two, I would like you to roll history checks, please. History for rabbit people, let's see. Seven. Cool. Seventeen. Cool. Um, no idea, Ludo, but yeah. she's a cool rabbit lady. Um, that's cool. Um, yeah. With, with, with this world, there are people who are just the animals. There are people who are, uh, people with a little bit of the animal. And then there's, like, the canon D&D &D stuff as well. Um, she's definitely more on the, uh, humanoid but with features side of rabbit folk. <laughs> um... The other two, you know this to be, um, Tarquin, I'd say with your really good, um, roles earlier, uh, you'd, you'd put the puzzle pieces together, um, with, uh, the Lady Icta being here and running the festival, you've also heard rumours and mumblings of, um, the Lady Etirin, Air, um, and she is the, um, at the same guild hall as uh, the Lady Icter is from, for hunting. Um, the Lady Atirin is uh, the mistress of the, arc of the arcane. Um, she is prolific in anything arcane, arcana, magic, any of that good stuff. Also very dope bunny lady. Um, most people haven't really ever seen her. Most don't have reason to, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, if she, like, if she turns up to a crime scene, you would fear for whatever is about to go down. <laughs> like, you would fear what, like, you'd be like, wait, is this a, is this a thing? Is this a thing? Like, <laughs> you know, it would be like if you're just, like, at a Christmas dinner and Doctor Who turned up. It's like, is some, uh, are aliens here? <laughs> is are there aliens? You know, uh, if she's turning up, something something's occurring. 
Um, and Alora, you of course know her from Ninut. Um, again, might not have seen her, but you've seen uh, fan art a portraiture. <laughs> Um, and you've heard enough tell of her and her reputation to know immediately. Um, but Bunny, Bunny is, uh, the Lady Etiran heir. Now, we should be in a slightly more secured area. I apologize for the slightly confusing introduction. My name is Etiran heir. I am the mistress and master of the arcane at the Ninut Guild Hall of Arts and Industry. A pleasure. She bows a little bit. One second, DM. Uh, I'm a little confused. Is this... Um, yes. Is this... Orla? No. Oh, okay. For some they reason, have I thought it was very... Orla. Okay. Similar voices. My apologies. <laughs> no. I did realize that. I was like, oh. The, pro the problem is... Um, f fun backstory. Uh, I made uh, Orla first a few years ago, and then I really liked the name, but it was just for like a mini campaign, and it didn't really go anywhere. And I was like, well, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to waste the vibe of of a Tyran. Um, and she was called a Tyran heir. So then I was like, oh, I need a cool character for for Isifrae. And then I was like, oh, I can use that name, because that was a cool name. And then somehow both of them ended up in the world, and I was like, shit, I'm going to have to like rename one of them. And then I realized today, I was like, man, they kind of have similar voices. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, yes, um, they do have similar voices. Um... Okay, just check it. And... For some reason, I thought it was yes. like, Orla was like a cover, and this is her like revealing who she was. Yeah. No, 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 no. Or Orla's just a weird bitch. Um, <laughs> uh, the Lady of Tyrion, yeah. I'll try and... She's got slightly more of a transatlantic thing, but they both they both have this kind of thing going on. Because um, it's fun and I like doing it. <laughs> um, but yes. This is a different, different person. Um, yes. She um, kind of gives you all a small bow. I have, uh, cast silence around this tent just to make sure that we are not overheard by people who may not need to hear this. I hope you don't mind. Zephyr just kind of silently shakes her head. <laughs> so, um... Is there uh, anything you can tell us about this? Because we are in, in the middle of this situation and we understand that there might be a bigger problem than we initially thought. Yes. Um, we weren't expecting this conversation to happen this early or indeed in this manner. So... If you could give me some time to prepare, we can speak about this in greater depth at a later time. For clarification, um, I believe, Iluro, you were um, visited by Miss Ikta while you were in recovery, am I right? Yes. That sounds great. And I apologize for her ominousness with the matter, but we wanted to highlight to you that we have been taking note of your team. Um, not in a ominous or fraught way, but more so in a way where we believe you can fulfill the abilities that we may be looking for. And the same with you. Zephyr. And Zephyr is just like, Oh! Me? Me? But we got... <laughs> we lost the last round. My dear, you have f found your finger on the pulse of the veil itself. That is no mean feat, and that is something that we 
would be interested to look into. Who is we? <sighs> For now, I will say myself and the Lady Icta and others who have been researching this. For the meantime, I hope you understand why I would keep the others' names secure. But please believe, once the festival is done, we will make a more solid agreement as to whether you are willing to work with us indeed, which you are not complied to, you do not have to. But we would try to pay well and make it worth your while. And you potentially would be assisting in the reparations of the world itself. Is that what your group is looking for? Reparations? We certainly would like to try and restore some balance to the world. It is askew, and should news of this travel too far before its correct time, it may only worsen things. How do you know that what you're doing is correct? We don't. The nature of science is trial and error. We have done enough research to know that something is awry, and that there may, in fact, be some backing to the rumors that we are in the beginning of a new era. Beyond just hearsay and shock value. We would not have begun research proactively, sending people out into the field if we were not sure that there was not something to investigate. You understand? Yes. I know this is quite a lot to take in. I wish I had some form of comfort for you. Rather selfishly, it's more of a comfort to know that others are aware of it. <laughs> it's been quite a lonely burden for a while. But indeed, we do believe that this is something that is achievable. And that with the right skills and the right hands involved, perhaps we can make it right. Well, that is... um, mm. af after uh, the final hunt is done, then maybe we can work together and figure this thing out. Just like us, I am sure that there will be more people that will accidentally find out that this is happening, so I guess uh, time is of the essence. Indeed. We know that there are still events going on. We will not limit you to those. Plus, we do not want to draw any more attention to this as is needed. Hence my coming over. <laughs> I hope you understand. But yes, of course. If you've any further questions, I will answer what I can within reason. Ludo will um, raise his hand. My dear, you do not have to raise your hand. Oh, okay. But do go on. Uh, are we in trouble? No. Well, no. You are... I am not here to discipline you, if that is what you mean. Okay, good. Are we in danger? That I am afraid I am less sure on. But you are in no more or less danger than I or any of a, other of us. And it is my duty to make sure that we protect everyone to the best of our abilities. And should you be willing and able, you may be able to play a part in that. A large part. Hand goes up again. Yes. Can I talk about the hole? Uh, please do. If you're willing to share information, I can't promise you anything as of right now, but any information you have shared would be useful. We are yet to refer back to 
uh, Pilgrim to Fima. But he will be brought into this once it is relevant and secure to do so. Oh, no, sorry. I mean, like, uh, to other people, can I talk about the home? Preferably not. Oh. If that is okay. Tomorrow, we are going to have a dinner with the royal family. Can I talk about the home? Again, no. Okay, even there. But okay. I... Sh- but don't worry, we will be f- referring to the royals once we know the situation further and have made a decision on our next course of action. Okay. Uh, hand up. <laughs> she, kind of, she kind of cocks her head and smiles a little bit. Um, Ludo? If we see another hole, what should we do? That is a good question. (sighs) Uh, I'll recount what happened last time. Also, please remind me what happened last time. So, uh, last time, you were all hanging out, chilling, being cool. Uh, Elora was a cat and had a vision that uh, there was... Some something strange in the neighborhood going on uh, behind the Shrine of Searching. And that was where you went and found the tear. And it was just like a strange um, shift. Almost like a almost like a veil. Um, kind of like if there was a if there were, it's like those art pieces where someone puts like a curtain up and then paints it to match the background behind it. Um, but it was, like, slightly sheer and iridescent and ethereal and kind of behind it was just void. Um, but yes, you recount that too. <laughs> the lady in, uh, great detail. Oh my god. The detail. That was amazing. Thanks so much. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, she kind of raises a finger to her lip. I see. Alora, you've habituated Ninut before, have you not? Have I habituated Ninut? Is that have what you, you just have you, asked? Have you, have you lived in Ninut? Pause, DM. Have I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you call? Is that what you called my my origin? place at yes. some point yeah, okay indeed. thank you yeah. thank you That's, it's all good <laughs> <laughs> it was, oh the, the you sheer don't panic remember. Like, do you <laughs> did you habituate Ninut? <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> yes you did <laughs> yes i did interesting <laughs> um <laughs> no um i thought so i i felt as if i had Heard your name and speak of you from there. Tell me, was this the first vision you'd ever had of this kind? I had had another vision in the past, leading me to a shrine. A shrine? I see. Was there anything... Similar at that shrine? There weren't any holes in the universe. Um, It was simply a cat shrine. Ah. Hmm. You've been gifted by Sinian, then. Yes. Interesting. I do appreciate their boons quite a lot. Um. Cats. Um. Right, well, that's in a roundabout way probably good news that there was not a tear. <sighs> right. Well, this is all good information. Um... 
I will be um, residing back in my slightly more covert form for the meantime, back at uh, Lady Icta's tent. And I will hopefully be in touch within the coming days. Um, Zephyr, I may be inclined to speak to you soon about this again, if I may. Kind of just gently nods. <laughs> just, okay. Um, well, I am sorry once again for this slightly abrupt and ominous meeting, but thank you so much for being so understanding. I would understand any suspicion or confusion you may have. I will be in touch. We will see each other again. We shall. Mm. Bows her head. Um, kind of clicks again. Turns back into a generic bloke. <laughs> <laughs> Create a character model. <laughs> yeah, like the literally. like the white bald guy. Yeah, standing. yeah. She is. She is. She's just um, casual Agent Forty Seven this time when she goes back out. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, the curtains close behind you, behind her as uh, as she makes her way out. Shall we go for a break there? Yeah. Yeah. So we can That's say hello more. to the Raiders. Hello Raiders and thank you Raiders. Hello Raiders. Hello Raiders. 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 Thank Welcome you, Raiders. Yeah, Raiders. Yeah. Hope you're doing well. Hope your stream was good. And yes, shout out to my lovely friend Ginny um, from the Friday group hello. who uh, Zephyr belongs to. Oh, nice. And that bitch rolled some dumb rolls, so she learned a lot about the world! Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, got some natural 20, I think it was a natural 20 on an arcana roll. Uh, and then... Ginny the mini! We love you, Ginny! Um, I'm gonna expect the Discord messages where she's like, SHUT UP! Um, but... <laughs> oh my gosh, is that Ginny? Yeah, 20 just ridiculous. Don't kill us on Arcana. And, uh, is that actually you, Ginny? Oh my gosh! Hi, Ginny! My friend Ginny. Um, yeah, and then, uh, the, the rolls were going really well, and then I was like, hey, so roll a d100. I've picked a number. The closer you are, the more lore you get. Um, I, I think I picked a 51, and Ginny got, like, a 54. So I was like, oh, diggity dang. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's Ginny. Hi, Ginny. <laughs> Ginny, the high key. Can I play a drug dealer in your campaign, please? Um, yeah, legend. Love you, Ginny. But yes, Ginny, you need to Ginny, tell me the Zephyr. things I don't know apparently about Umberlie and why Ludo should not be with Umberlie. Because I heard that uh, your group is very disapproving of our relationship. And I would like to know the ins and outs. Don't tell him too much lore. Don't tell him too much lore. But yes, uh, we are going to go on a small break. <laughs> but please feel free to keep chatting. Um, yeah, she was, the, she was the lady that... Um, that uh, Oh, God, I can't remember his character's name. Um, thingy cast uh, foot dirt on. Foot dirt? <laughs> foot dirt. Because <laughs> she was playing... Yeah! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Consequences. Um, yes. But yes, we're going to go on a quick break for five, ten minutes or so. Yeah. So feel free to chat, tell us your feelings. I'll probably hang around and read chat and get giddy with Ginny. Um, <laughs> and um, we will see you shortly. Bye, be right back. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Welcome back. Hello. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. How you guys doing? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> uh, I just saw Jenny's message. I am your biggest fan. Uh, hello, everybody. Everybody feeling okay after finding out that the world could be destroyed any moment? <laughs> We all doing all, we all doing all right? Ah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it was just rock me. It's just, you know. It's just a just slight possibility. <laughs> it's but, uh, fine. It's what was you're saying you're saying it like the the veil is torn or something and this is this is going to be the tales of that. That would be crazy. That'd be weird. That'd be weird. That would be so weird. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean to make it so on the nose, but you know what? That's okay. Oh, it got okay. it got to be on the nose sometimes. Uh, Zephyr has known things for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I I am very excited to see Zephyr kind of come into come into her own and also bump into this group, knowing what Zephyr knows. Um. I want to know what Zephyr knows. I'll trade you a fish do, do you? Do you? Yeah. Do you really? Ludo doesn't know. <laughs> I, I purposefully uh. kind of zoned out so I wouldn't know too much about what actually happened. Nice. I feel like Ludo <laughs> like that kind of stuff would just be like... <laughs> just like, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like when you start getting yeah, so into talks about realms and all that stuff, it's just like... <laughs> Echoes oh. in his head, yeah, just <laughs> just a little monkey doing flips, and yeah, symbols. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> but if we're all ready, we will hop right back into it. Shall we hop, hop, hop back into it? Hop, 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 hop back into it. <laughs> um, hashtag, hashtag, believe in before. Believe in before. Believe in me, Paul. Believe in me, Paul. It's gonna get such a good one-on-one. -on -one. I'll make sure of it. It's gonna be such a good mini session. Um. So yes, um, you are all, uh, back in the tent. Back in the tent. Um, after hearing the slightly uh bombastic news <laughs> that, um. The world is surrounded by an arcane, ar arc arcane, arcane <laughs> veil that uh, kind of holds in all the magic and deities and spirits and stuff. But it's maybe been a little bit broken for a little bit of time, and stuff might have come in, stuff might have gone out. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, it's probably not not a great thing. Uh, yeah. That's where we left off. <laughs> Exciting! Woo! Woo! Um, <laughs> as uh, Itirin leaves, um, you feel the cold shiver uh, disperse. Disperse! As the uh, zone of silence around the tent um, is removed. Ooh. Zephyr is just kind of sitting, looking ominously, slightly wide-eyed. So... Well, yeah, um, yeah. We, we're gonna be all right. Basically, that's what I heard. <laughs> Everything gonna be all right. Um, I, I hope so. I mean, at least if we're going to be in trouble, we got the legendary Tarquin here. So he saved the world before, right, Tarquin? Yes, yes. Uh, I think uh, about um, 10 times, if my memory doesn't oh fail me. Oh, God, yeah. See, it's probably even, I mean, how many, what they call it? The Ar Ar Archon, Archon Bale? What is you probably already do that a couple times, right? Well, uh, I mean, let's uh, let's evaluate things. 
The veil is breaking, perhaps, uh, the world is changing. Honestly, I feel like it's like the universe finally woke up and realized it needed a hero. And lucky for everyone, I am already here, so... Um, what was the last, uh... What was the last heroic mission you went on? Um... Let's see... Uh, it wasn't the... It wasn't the ice giant, it wasn't the volcano, it wasn't the group of ogres, it wasn't the kraken. Um, ah, I don't remember the last one. There were so many. Hmm. Well, uh, it does certainly sound like you're uh, qualified, so that's reassuring. Of course, everything is going to be fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, um, I'm gonna, um, go and nap, because this, there, there, that, mm-hmm. And she just kind of gets up. <laughs> um, and she just says, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll talk about this at a later day. Okay, All right. Nice I need to, I need to roll something really quick. <laughs> oh. She she turns on her heel. Wait. Ice giant's kraken. Tarquin. <gasps> You're that Tarquin. <gasps> the one and only. Oh my god. Uh, she melts back into the chair. <laughs> she like has to she has to grab for it as she stumbles. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my oh my god. Um okay, well, you know, that's good news. <laughs> just you know, you hear the worst news about the world and then and then, and then, and then suddenly, you know, there's just two heroes here. Oh my god. Um hmm, mm, yeah. Um Hi. Um, I'm Zephyr. You already knew that. Oh my god, you already knew that. Um, mm hmm. Mm. Girl, mm -hmm. tell me about it. I have to deal with this every time I wake up and there's Tarquin. Wow, Tarquin. <laughs> <laughs> Someone please clip that. I need to make that a sound bite. <laughs> wow, Tarquin. <laughs> um, you. Oh my god, so, yeah, you... Well, lady... I mean, Yanka kind of proved to be a bit of a... I don't know, I mean, she's still really cool, but, like... Orla really doesn't like her, um, but, like, y you... Haven't been a dick yet, so... Um, can I, can, um... Can I have your autograph? Of course, it's going to be very valuable one day, so I say you keep it. Okay. Um. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, totally cool. Um. Where do you want it? Where? Happy Valentine's Day. Ginny? Um. For it. Maybe, uh, Didn't even have to ask. Al, did um, I tell you about here. the thing I left outside? Did I tell you about that one? He's, Lulu oh says and he stands up. No. Oh, yeah, there's a very nice one out here. Let me show you. Nice nice one of what? Yeah, I'll show you. It's very... It's, oh, it's out here. I'll show you. Where are you guys going? Nothing. You tell, you tell her. You tell her. It's okay. We'll be right, you'll be right out there. She, uh, yeah, you see Zephyr point to her forehead <laughs> and hand you a uh, D and D sharpie, <laughs> a pen of scribing, <laughs> a, a, a feather tipped pen of scribing <laughs> with golden ink. Color of the stars. <laughs> God, I want that on a shirt now. <laughs> it's just a picture of a sharpie. 
Okay, important question. How big do you want it to be? Yes. You want... Uh, yes. Mm, just, just on there. Uh, you, you know best. Okay, stay still. Don't move. Um, I'm going to roll the... a constitution <laughs> <laughs> to see if she's able to stay still. <laughs> That is a natural three. Uh, she is shaken with it. She's trembling with anticipation. Um, so it is slightly, slightly jagged. Um, but you do manage to sign. I mean, do you sign your name? Of course. Okay, I just wanted to check. <laughs> I've played with very chaotic players. I just needed to check. <laughs> Uh, th thank you, thank thank you so much. Um, so, so, um, do you come here often? Um, well, I mean, um, I'm here because of the hunt, but uh, I don't uh, know. Perhaps I will return some other times. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, I I, I, I travel so much that uh, I sometimes forget about places, but uh, I am all over the world. Yeah, I, I, I bet. Doing all the heroic stuff. Yes, it's a tiring life, but someone has got to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh my god. Um, well, okay. you have your autograph. Uh, do you need anything more from your hero? Uh, Ginny? <laughs> I just, I just want to make sure I'm getting consent, cause I was, I was, I was <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> she's like so excited, she just forgets about the opportunity right in front of her. Um, she's like, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go to the. To the bathroom real quick, and she just she just scarpers. She's gone. She's she's going. She's legging it. Um, and you <laughs> you just kind of hear in the distance. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Um, you don't hear Orla's response because it's way more chill. Um, and uh, yes, the other uh, Ludo and Alora, you see her run past. <laughs> speeding back towards Orla, um, who uh, seemingly isn't where she was before anymore. Uh, Orla has gone somewhere. Ludo's Orla like, has wondered yes! Alright! And go for a high five to Aluro. <laughs> Aluro, like, holds up their hand and <laughs> and kind of gets just, like, appeasingly hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's at this moment you see um Umberlai and uh Octal kind of coming over. Um look as if they're looking for you. Pardon me. Uh look as if they're looking for you. And um kind of watch Zephyr just pew, um slightly grumpily so uh at least on Umberlai's behalf. <laughs> and um before they arrive uh I do a quick like my back straightens up and I look at Al. Uh, is this gonna, am I gonna be alright? Is this gonna be okay? You're gonna be fine. You what, got this. What do I say? What do I say? What did she say? Again, who am I? What are we? Take, take a deep <laughs> breath. Uh huh. <gasps> oh, and then let it out, let it out. <laughs> We're gonna lose one of our characters. <laughs> Well, I mean, to be fair, with last week's friggin' trial, I have learned how long y'all can breathe, um, or not breathe, <laughs> until you start passing out, so... <laughs> I guess that was a bonus to that. Um, so I, just tell, I just tell her what? I tell her... go. I tell you her tell go. her what? how you feel. You tell her everything that you think about her, you know? Okay, yeah, just tell her how I feel. Just be cool. Just be cool, guys. Be cool. Ooh, we're very cool. You got this. Okay. She arrives with Octal in tow, kind of like, oh, 
That, uh, that seems interesting. <laughs> she somewhere in a hurry. Um, and Umberlight comes over with a small golden box in her hands. Oh. Kind of, um, <laughs> before you get too excited, uh, <laughs> it's like, um, it's about palm uh, length in width and breadth and height. Okay. It's square because it's easier to describe. <laughs> or cube cube shaped um, so yeah hello Umberlai good evening to you I'm just gonna roll it inside <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. can I roll performance or something <laughs> I mean sure I'm, performance I'm gonna... or persuasion I'll allow self imposed yeah. disadvantage <laughs> oh, three. <laughs> it was um, a seven does it does a that beat? Hang on, I need to just double check one of her inside. It's really quick. I don't think it's madness. I don't think her uh, her perception is madness, but it is certainly high. Um, her insight even. Where is it? Come on, go fast, dude. Oh, it's... Oh, oh, it's plus zero. Oh, well, that's less exciting. But she's still got 17. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, and she'll just go... Um, hi. How's it? Uh, are you okay? Uh-huh. Why, why, why won't I be okay? I'm just... Cool. We're all cool. Sweating quite a lot, darling. <laughs> yeah. A little nervous, baby cheeks. What, uh, what's in the box? Uh... Oh, um, well, this arrived for you back at the, uh, at the, at the inn. Oh. Um, for your team, I assume it's the um, prizes slash aid for whatever. Yeah. Here, and she hands it over to you. Uh, uh, Octals. Hmm. Go for it. Tarquin is here. Tarquin is still in the thing. Yeah, where 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 was Tarquin? He's still in the tent. <laughs> I have big ears and I love gossips. <laughs> <laughs> so you just just poke just just leaning up against the side. And of I the poke tent, my face like outside of the tent, like. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> Oct Octo kind of looks around and is like, "Oh, where's your uh? Where are the beefy boys?" We're not, not with you tonight. Uh, where is Darkwing? Darkwing! Ludo! We got a box! Really? <laughs> oh no. Uh, Octal's gonna make an insight check really quick. Oh no. <laughs> what happened? Oh no. Oh no, why, oh no, why? <laughs> he rolled low. I was fearing he would roll low. <laughs> um, he... He sees uh, Tarquin, you poking your head out of the curtain and recalls seeing Zephyr running away. Aww. Really excited with your name on her forehead. Ah! Right. Yes, no, of course. Of course, yeah. Um. Hey, um, I'm blight, I'll be right back. Okay? Uh, yes? Everything okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. And. Uncharacteristically quietly, Oxhole walks away from the group. You've broken this poor young man's heart. You all may roll insight if you would like. It's Again, we're still on we're still on Tutorial Island, so I'm giving you the upper like I'm spurring more. Like, do you want to roll this right now? Do you want to roll it? But if at any point you're just like, this person says a thing and you're sus, you can just be like, uh, the insight check, DM. <laughs> insight right now. <laughs> but an eleven. Oh. I mean, it's not a difficult roll, so I'd say if you get above a 10, you can tell that Octal um, 
is definitely not okay. Um, if you get a 12 or higher, he seems like a man who <laughs> has uh, been somewhat heartbroken in the last minute or so. Alas. But in the box, um, <laughs> um, um, you see... Mm, yeah, just, I'll be like, a, sh should we open it without me phone? He see he's really excited, but he thinks maybe politeness dictates that we should wait, but also he really, 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 really wants to open it. Oh, I, um... I would like to approach and have a better look. Uh, yes, um, that's a fair shout. I just thought I'd bring it to you and give it to you for whenever you felt as if you wanted to open it. Um... We can probably can... open it now, right? Mm, yes. Um, I guess uh, we could. What's the worst that can happen? You open it. Do you open the box? <laughs> What's in the box? Look to Alurel for approval. <laughs> I think it's okay if we open it. Yeah, good. And he opens it real fast. <laughs> so inside um, you find a small note it says congratulations team Ludo, Aluro, Tarquin, Beeple um, for getting to the final round uh, to celebrate your success in the trials thus far you have um, won three prizes that may aid you in your final battle and then it gives you the rules of like the the team that's currently in second place will get two prizes and the team that's in third place will get one prize um so you know that you're getting more shit than anybody else yeah. um inside you find some oil in a small vial unlabeled oh. you find a potion in a vial Unlabel. Kind of a dark blackish purple color. And you also find a mirror. What's a this? small handheld mirror. What's all this? I think uh, this is for the next part of the hunt. Especially the mirror, you know what it said about not looking and something like that? Oh... I'm sure this has something to do with it. I wonder what the oil does. You may all roll arcana or investigation checks on the oil in the, in the, in the portion if you would like. Oh, not 20. Hey, yo! Nobody else needs to, unless Ludo's gonna keep that information. Good, because I got a two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a five. <laughs> nice! Uh, brr, uh, potion oil. Uh, potion of potion oil of oil. Uh, oil makes the oilies. Um, <laughs> um, Very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> crafted this world for you. The oil is oily and the potion is potiony. Um, <laughs> Ludo, you see that. Which which do you want to look at first? Which one do you want to look at first? Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's, uh, there's a potion and an oil, right? Yes. Let's look at the oil. A potion and an oil. He assumes okay. the oil is for cooking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm trying to think what would happen if you used it for cooking. That would be interesting. Um, you look at the oil. Imme immediately assuming some sort of vegetable or nut oil. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, as you kind of shake it around to see if you can tell what color or get a scent from it, you see a slight iridescence to it. Um, and you're like, oh, this is shining like the mirror is shining. 
and you put together that this is an oil of reflectivity. So anything that you coat in the oil will become reflective for up to an hour. Oh, damn. Mm. Like fully reflective surface. Alright, I'll tell the group as much. It's like some kind of mirror oil. So we have mirror oil and mirror mirror. <laughs> and probably mirror potion. Let me see. <laughs> the potion. Um, you look at, you have a whiff. Um, with a nat 20. Ooh. Roll a nature check for me at advantage, please. Okay. I'm seeing how much information I want to give you, you know? Because you got a nat 20. But are you going to, you know, go a little bit further, further on? Well, I got, it's two rolls. The first one's a three, but the next one's a seven. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I don't know, no nothing. Hmm. Hmm. I would say. Uh, I would say that. Ooh. <laughs> I would say <laughs> that. Um. What do you what do you do to analyze the potion? Do you look at it? Do you swirl it? Do you have a dab on your finger and taste it? Yeah, probably you know do a little swirly swirl. Look it up real close. Um, Mouthwash. Give it a give it a bit of a smell. <laughs> Waft it. It smells of monster. Oh. It definitely smells of monster. You can't quite put your finger on which monster or what monster. Um, may or may not have eaten one before, but you can tell easily enough that this is some kind of blood or other, Jesus Christ, other bodily fluid of a monster. <laughs> okay, uh... <laughs> it is, it is liquid. It is liquid. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, you can tell though that with the quite pungent irony aroma um that this is like a really extreme form of smelling salts oh um so you kind of have a whiff and you're just like <laughs> just a <laughs> just people's like <laughs> um and you can tell that this is potion of depetrification oh okay enough for two doses two doses of potion of depetrification is all right do you you taste this or maybe you pour it on somebody who turned into a stone and then they're not a stone anymore so detective Darkwing was right again That is going to be a creature that can turn us into stone and we have to use this to be rid of stone again and then we have to use the mirror because we can't look it in the face because it's going to petrificate us and we're going to die and so we're going to have to do all these things. Oh, that's very smart. Wow. That does sound like a good call. Well, that's fun. You get to fight something, you can't look at it and then you get to use a mirror. I think that is what we're going to be up against. But I may be wrong. But uh, I think I've never been wrong in my life, so... Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I will say, Detective Tarquin can have a have a whiff of the potion. Um, and roll a... History or nature check at advantage. Because going with the nature. With the with the with the hero that Mr. Tarquin has, he's encountered a basilisk or two before. Of course. Thirteen. <laughs> okay. Um you can tell that this is mostly basilisk blood. I knew it. Basilisk blood, of course. 
gonna have to be very careful, my friends. These are very dangerous creatures. Oh, very tasty too. I think you, you would have a whole night of cooking if we catch this thing. Yeah, you gotta boil it a lot, because the skin's really hard. Oh, and yeah, and you could also turn into a statue if you look at him or something like that. Hmm. But it's still I wonder what the other teams delicious. are going to be doing. <laughs> yes, yes. We're gonna have to eat it, then try and see the flavors. That makes me wonder, the other teams will have less advantages, so they're pretty much screwed. <laughs> but they might still know what monster it is. Well, I hope to see a little small statue of Jenka over there. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm. That would be rather good. Um. Hmm. Yeah, huh. Well, either way, I'm sure we're going to win, of course. But, uh, yeah, let's be careful tomorrow. I don't want to see any of you turn to stone. I like you just the way you are. Nice and fleshy and soft. Yes, well, I'm sure the clerics would, you know, de-petrify you should that happen in the arena itself. But it is slightly more risky. No, if you lose a limb while you're petrified, then, well, can't exactly expect to wake up with it. That sounds very bad. <laughs> We're gonna have to be very careful. Very careful. Yes, please do. Obviously can't be there, <laughs> but... Yeah, do be careful. You're gonna be on the sideline, I hope. Uh, rooting for us, right? I mean, if we can be. I don't know if anyone would be able to watch within a certain range. Oh, yeah. Well, eh, if you're farther, that means less chance for me to spill my chicken noodle soup on you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, quite. <laughs> yeah. She definitely is kind that. of mirroring your uh, nervousness <laughs> at this point. Oh, it, it's... it was an accident. It's quite alright. Yeah, yeah, uh, b uh, but uh, sorry, and I didn't mean to upset you or uh, embarrass you. And then uh, also I'm very happy to see you here now and also there earlier. And uh, I hope you're proud of me and my friends for we found many trinkets. Oh, yes. You've got all, practically all of the trinkets in a very short amount of time. It's rather eventful. And apology accepted. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so why was that, uh, girl running from here? Oh yeah. Uh, as she said cooking. she needed to go to the bathroom and I think uh, maybe she has a bad stomach because it's been quite a while now. But uh, I don't know. Maybe something she ate? Right. No, well, what what was she doing here in the first place, you know? She was I, I just oh, asked one of her friends is um well, she wanted an autograph and I signed her forehead. Oh. A fan. Yes, yes. Oh, well, mind out if you see her satyr friend. Just, Ooh. uh... One of her teammates is a satyr person thing, I think. Orla? No, 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 not Orla. Oh. Oh, no, she was there as well, though. But she, she seems odd. Um, no, um, no, her friend was, a uh, rather, hmm, what's the word, a dick, when, uh, we first met, if you can call it that, so, just keep an eye, I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to any of you.
thank you. <laughs> yes, do not worry. We are, we will be fine. So if anyone comes here looking for trouble, then <laughs> well, <laughs> I would not advise them to. Uh, uh, I'm I'm Berlai. Can I talk to you? And it's uh, just uh, just the two of us. Yes, okay, you can. Good. Just uh, should I be concerned? No, no, no. Oh. Of course, no, no, no. It's okay. Just uh, uh, I'll I'll see you over there. Just one second. I need to check in with my friends. <laughs> okay, I'll. She just kind of wanders off to wherever you gestured to. <laughs> Ludo immediately turns to Alan Tarquin. And says, she's gonna break up with me. She's gonna. I'm gonna tell her everything, and then she's gonna <laughs> break up with me. And I'm never gonna see her again. And then it's gonna be. I don't even need to cook anymore. I don't need to eat anymore because I'm just gonna die because she just doesn't even want to be with me, huh? I don't think so. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't be afraid. I, I think she likes you, but uh, perhaps uh, she's not entirely sure if this can actually continue. If you have to go a separate ways or something like that. So, I guess that's a conversation you need to have with her. But she definitely likes you, and I don't think she wants to lose you. He will, and uh, you never know. Oh? You never know what things are going to be like until you get into the middle of them, right? It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Absolutely. Alright, he will pluck friends off of his shoulder and gingerly <laughs> hand it over to Aluro. I will here. receive bird. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Valentine's Day. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 okay. Oh my god. If I, if I die, please take care of him. He's my little baby boy. going to be fine you're not gonna die go talk but to we her. will we will take care of him though for sure yeah you'll feel better trust me go talk to her okay he uh gives one nervous look back halfway there and then walks over to and Alura, Alura just like does the motion like go 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 you got this <laughs> <laughs> are y'all gonna scooby-doo listen in we're gonna Absolutely. Polite, polite. <laughs> okay, I can't speak for Tarquin, but I'm gonna stand yeah, politely yeah. Uh, as in the area, and we're gonna um, ease drop just a little bit, maybe. I mean, <laughs> we're both half elves. It's gotta be worth something having yeah. these years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> roll for stealth just in case, you know, someone oh, were to accidentally please. roll a natural one. But, please uh, we let up, me we roll for falling stealth. in the background, like we fall in the background. <laughs> <laughs> just accidentally take one step too many and just fall off the island. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Oh god, that could happen. No, it was, no, it was not oh, quite that close nice. to the edge. Seventeen. Nice. We are the stealth team. We can do anything. Stealth team. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all really are. You really, you guys really are. Uh, any onlookers that saw Allura and Tarquin find themselves mistaken, for they did not. For they evaporated into the, into the dust of. We are shadows <laughs> in the night. <laughs> exactly. Um. So let me let me let me find some some music for this. Uh... <laughs> Boss battle music. <laughs> the giant red health bar shows up. I'll, I'll oh, no. Don't. Don't don't tempt me. Okay, this, this... Just one winged angel starts playing. <laughs> so. Umberlight. 
burn, 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 burn. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> he approaches. Uh, hello, I'm Berlay. Hi. Hello. Are you all, are you all right? Yeah. You seem I, a bit. Of course, I just. I, I've been thinking about. Uh, what you ask me is a very. A uh, difficult question. I, I don't often have very complex things to think about. You know, it's always just recipe, where to go next, what to eat next, who to meet next. And then you ask a uh, question like I don't even think of that normally, you know? Yes. Um. Well, have been called argumentative before, but it wasn't intended as such wasn't trying to put you into a trap or anything with what you said. I just was curious to know. Well, now that we have some time, what what do you want to know? What did you what did you mean when you asked me that? Is this just a fling to you or I mean, it's only been a couple of days, but... Uh, you know, it, it's it been nice. And... I don't know. He will... I'm trying to... Oh, all right, go ahead. I'm trying to figure out where I stand with things, but I figure knowing where you stand with things will help figure that out potentially he will extend his left hand palm upward and put his right fist in it be like uh, he'll say uh, best of three winner goes second what oh rock paper scissors Oh, okay. Um. Bold apartment shears. <laughs> I feel that's derivative. <laughs> the secretaire's parchment and boulder. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we learned at home. Um, well, rock, paper, scissors is much simpler, though. I like that. Um, okay. Um, rock, paper, scissors. And then whoever wins get to choose if they go first or second. Okay, let's do it. But via the method of rollies, because yeah. that's easier. Uh, just, just d20 roll. rollies. Just whoever roll <laughs> gets higher. Goes higher. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> just for easies for now, I'll and figure. Then, you know, if she's, she's a bard, I don't know, she got sneaky methods, but, you know, if she wants to I mean, do a little maybe. sneaky sneak, maybe she do that. Oh, I got an 18. So. Oh, that's a two. Eh. Okay. One, one to me. One to you. And... Eh. Rolling. Ooh, I, oh, I got a seven. I got thirteen. Okay. Uh, best two out of three, or three out of five? Uh, best two out of three. So that means you win, darling. Uh, you want you your choice. Ah. <sighs> You know, I practiced this so many times with Octal, and now he's not here, and I'm not quite sure how to do it all again all of a sudden. Um, it's just me. I'm not gonna be mad or or angry or or sad. You just uh, say what's uh, on your mind and in your heart. I it's not the destination; it's the journey. Quite. <laughs> I like you, and we've had an immense amount of, well, fun the last few days, and I'm 
not particularly great at understanding my feelings. Um, but I would like some more time to try and figure them out with you. Okay. But that all depends on what we're doing after, if you're interested in continuing or not. Yes. Okay. My turn. I have feelings very fast and very hard. I don't... Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I don't really <laughs> stay in one place. It's always following the next adventure and the next uh, hint that maybe there's a monster there I can eat or the next uh, big hunt like this one. And uh, I just follow what is my heart say in that moment and what my uh, instinct guides me and uh, you know in in my past that bring me to women and I usually have a good time and then we leave and that's okay because sometimes you know I pay them sometimes it's just a one time oh. uh, and then it's never I think of them again usually or when I think of them it's like I remember having a nice apple pie when I'm uh, a baby and then it's a nice memory but I don't need to have the apple pie because I already have it but uh, then I win you in the contest just for rental rental only one night <coughs> and I, I I I really like your pie uh. I would like to have your pie all the time if, even if I'm adventuring I wish I was eating your pie and uh, mm. And now I think about what will happen tomorrow. I think about what will happen next week. Uh, my plan is I finish the hunt with my friends and then maybe we go adventure <laughs> together. And I think about your pie and if I want to bring the pie or if I'm never going to see the pie again, or maybe I just, mm. you know, remember the recipe and the next time I cook it again. And I think uh. that, okay, maybe that doesn't make, make very I'm much sense. Ah, uh, Amber Light. Quite following me. Darling, wh what I'm trying to say is in my heart, I am an adventurer. I'm always going to be chasing the next clue the next quest the next thing i can do to make the world a better place and to eat all the monsters in there but i think i i don't need you know i, I there's so many monsters i want to try them and defeat all them and then go all the places and see the whole world and i think i just want to only have your pie if that's okay and it's okay if you don't want me to have your pie anymore I think even if you don't want it I'm still going to I only like your pie now I don't need the apple pie just the bl bl blueberry pie banana pie I, all I need is I feel like I'm supposed to tell you how I feel is what everybody says. So how I feel is I only like Umber Light Pie. And <laughs> even if I go there, I go there, wherever I go, y you're always the pie that I want only. 
I think I got a little mixed up around the pie metaphor, but... Everything in my brain is food. I've noticed. Um, and you are, to me, the sweetest of all the food. I don't need any <sighs> other food anymore. Thank you. Um, and you said you go wherever your heart tells you to. Is what's it telling you now? It's telling me that even if I am there and you are here, or I go there and you stay here, or no matter where we are, I feel your heart is always with me, and my heart is always with you. Even if you don't want it, even if you say I'm ugly, you don't like me, suddenly you don't like my pie, you do not like the way I do the thing, you know, with the, you know, that one you like, you say my name very loud, remember? Um, yeah, yeah, yes. Even if you say you don't want that anymore, it's okay, I still want to give it to you because... I don't know. I don't need any other pie anymore. I, I don't need any other person anymore. All I want is upper life. Well, lucky for you, I don't have anything planned for after the festival. Other than maybe a hero's feast. Um, I'm going to go eat with the king. What? Yeah, after we finish the hunt, we got invited to go eat with the king. You want to come? You'll be my plus one. Oh. You're like, oh, this is my baby <laughs> chicks. She can eat with me. Where I go, baby um, chicks go. Maybe I say that. <laughs> I If that's an option, that would be amazing um but i was insinuating more um sexual things but th that's fine oh, we can do both yeah. um uh, more pie dessert maybe we call uh, it dessert that's a good one then nobody knows what we're talking about but we say oh you want dessert later i i think they might pick up on it before oh. too long need a secret word Yes, but, um, I have nothing planned for after the festival otherwise, so if your team permits it, um, I would be overjoyed to join you. Yeah, you're a bard, right? Yes. So, you know, we're, we have a legendary person. We have uh, Bifon, so strong and handsome. We have Aluro, very many magic and turn into a shark and bring many cats. You know, it's very many amazing things that will happen to us. We will need someone to tell the story. I'm going to roll real quick. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Who's the, who's the legendary person? Tarquin. He defeat the frost giant and the kraken, and then all the ogres. You ask him about. You ask him. You ask him. He he knows so many. He, oh, he did so uh, many things. Oh, oh yes, yes. Oh right, I yes, forgot. She's I like definitely. Terrified of Tarquin. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> she also <laughs> rolled a nat two to remember him. So. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's maybe his... you could dump her. She's historically, she's not historically, she's been the worst for remembering Tarquin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, um, that would be great. Thank you, Mito. Thank you. Uh, I would like to formally invite you to the. Uh, sun sites for dessert later. Okay. I will accept. 
Then nobody knows, but we know, see? No, don't... Aren't you sharing a room with someone? Oh, he's not even... I think he's out having gallivanting with the ladies. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> it's okay. We uh, put the thing okay. on the door and then he will understand. Okay. Um, that sounds like a good plan. Thank you. Um... Cutting to Aloro and Tarquin, uh, what what are, are, are any little mumblings and rumblings of gossip going on between you two while this is going on? Or, which Did you, you see hear all of, it? all of that? I mean, I am a living legend, but that was just phenomenal. I mean, I'm gonna have to take that that whole eat your pie thing. I mean, that was amazing. <laughs> And I respect him even more now. I have to say I do as well. Top notch. Um, you hear behind you, <laughs> you, behind you uh, Burium Piffles, uh, super spy, <laughs> that? Um, has managed to <laughs> stealth up on you guys and is also Scooby-Doo listening from I mean, it's uh, like the whole island listening to that conversation, right? It's <laughs> like just, everyone it's... was listening. Just you guys and Burium. Uh, everyone else is too busy warming up, eating food, settling down for the night. <laughs> well, that guy's got game! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. He's one of us, that's for sure. Yes, he is. I'm all sweaty from that speech, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to point out Ginny's most recent comment really quick. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! Okay. Good to know about my favorite NPC. Good to know. But, uh, so are they, uh, are they together? Yes, yes, they are. Oh, are you are you together? What? Looks at looks at you both, Alora and Tarkin. Oh no, uh, we are this. No, we are the stealth. No, no, no. Oh. Are you single? <laughs> Raises his little otter eyebrows. <laughs> You're talking to me or to Ailura? Um, did I say a name? I'm talking to you both. But look at this guy. I, I uh, guess, uh, technically, who's asking? Biorium Piffles. Biorium Piffles. That's me! Oh, um, there we go. Nice to meet you. Are we not already met? I don't know anymore. You all hunters look the same to me. Where are all the otters? Where are all the other otter folk? It's shambles, I tell you. Well, anyway, um, I'm you... not sure if the answer will please you, but uh, we are not looking at the moment, I think. <laughs> Ow. Have you, have you seen any uh, security? Security? Yeah. I think that way, outside of the whole tent. Where? Uh, he just kind of looks around and just gets a lot lower down. <laughs> the Over point. there, really far, far away. Just go in that direction and never turn back and you'll find it. I don't want to find them. They're looking for me. Oh, you're getting away from them. What did you do? Nothing. Nothing that you need to worry your pretty little nose about. Really? Yes. Did, it, so did, 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 I, did I stutter? Plenty of times, yes. No! Shut up. You shut up. Well, I... Look, I... I... I, <laughs> 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 I may, look, I may, I may have partaken in some crimes once back in the day, but the, the, the fact of the matter is that I've been falsely accused Crimes I did not commit. Such as? Sausages! 
Sausages? Sa- sausages? I am been accused of a crime most farcical. I apparently have stolen approximately 317 sausages from the food tent. And what on earth is, what, what is it not to do to do 314 sausages, let alone 317 sausages? So you are the sausage bandit? No! No! That's I think me. you are. I am. I go by many names. Mostly just Bjorn. But I'm no sausage bandit. I don't have no such slander against my name. Well, you can be safe here because I haven't seen any guards around, so don't worry. You'll be fine with uh, stealing more sausages if you want. I don't... Uh, I don't... Uh, stop making me lose my cool. I, I'm not interested in stealing any more sausages. I haven't stolen any sausages! All right, all right. We will remember that and we will make sure to keep sausages away from you and everything is going to be fine. Don't worry. I don't like the cut of your jib. What? <laughs> I said. I said. <laughs> I said. I don't like the cut of your jib. I don't like the way you're accusing me of sausage thievery. Blasphemy. Well, it's okay. I will let you innocent until proven guilty. Yes, that's that's like an actually reasonable. That's pretty reasonable, I would say. I'm gonna roll real quick. (laughs) 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 Say, (laughs) you look like a fellow that's been around the earth in eighty days before. What? What have you ever done, crimes? Crimes. You no, seem, I am a hero. You seem to know a lot about the criminal law system, is all I'm saying. No, but I have my encounters with criminals, and I can recognize them. Oh, well, well, well. I did not understand a single word you said. If you were to steal... 317 yeah. sausages. Yes. How, how would you do it? Uh, I don't know. I would never steal sausages. Why would I need to steal sausages? Roll a deception check for me. <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> you lying. <laughs> oh no, I got a four. Bjorn <laughs> <laughs> Biffles can read your like a book, young man. I suggest you start telling the truth. Well, what do you want me to say? That uh, we can use sausages for food and that we have a friend that can cook very well and there's a lot of people that are hungry? Well, I, I want you to help an old daughter out because I have shit on you now. I have, I have black mail. Well, I'm sure that you are pretty, pretty dirty too, so I don't think that's a game you want to play with me. Oh, really? What about your friend here? Looks at either. Allura this entire time has just been trying really hard to to put on a poker face. (laughs) And (laughs) has been like... (laughs) Looking, like, really nervous and uncomfortable, uh, despite the fact that they've been trying really hard to save face. Why are you so... timid? What well, has you as nervous as a pilgrim in a prostitution ring? A pilgrim in a... Pro- a- a prostitution ring. What has you 
as nervous as a sardine in a school of sharks. Well, uh, we have the whole thing tomorrow. Multiple things, actually. I, I'm just nervous about that. Roll a deception. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. Sausage Steve. Sausage Steve. Why is Sausage Steve no so I will say that much. Oh no. Eight. <laughs> <sighs> uh, you are just as guilty as your friend here. You have every reason to be nervous. I smell them on you. You smell sausages on us? Metaphorically. No, there are no sausages here. Metaphorical sausages. But you did have sausages on you, didn't you? Um... Well... It's alright, you don't have to lie to me. I can read you like a magazine on the toilet. <laughs> Restrain. Do not so lie. how do we get rid of you? What do you want? I want help! <laughs> They're coming after me for crimes I didn't actually do this time. I mean, if you were as stealthy as the two of us, which that is pretty big accomplishment to say, I'm sure you can just lay low and keep the guards away from you. But I, I want to go and get my beer. My alcohol. Alright. I, I can't do I, that. I'll tell you what we'll do. You go get that beer and all the alcohol you want, and we will stay here. And if we see any guards, we will let you know. That's so far away! What if I get caught? I don't... I don't believe that you're going to protect me. And if I get caught, I'm dobbing you in. Just bobo. And that wouldn't be good for us, right? No. We wouldn't it want that. Be so bad. Have you been to jail before? No, and Me I don't neither. plan on going. Well, that's your answer right there. You go get you. We don't <laughs> want you to be caught by the guards because you're going to tail on us, and we don't want you to tail on us, so that's it. Go drink, and if something happens, we will let you know. I've heard stories of what happens in prison. Yeah, there's a lot of sausage eating right there, but it's not the like... You're not going to like that. Happy Valentine's what? Day. Right, no, right. just go get your drinks. All You'll right. be fine. All I hear is just that they really mean specifically to see Nile Otters. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm trusting you. Okay. I'm kind of like, does the points at his eyes points at you guys? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he's gonna try. <laughs> He's gonna try and stealth towards the tent. No, the oh shit, that's a shame because this is Bjorian Piffles. Bjorian Piffles, I have specifically had to create his character sheet to reflect his uh, senile nature. So he's permanently at like level four exhaustion. <laughs> um, you see, <laughs> okay, uh, you see, he uh, kind of uh, goes back uh, towards the kind of main campsite area um, kind of peeks out both ends I should change the song for this really um, <laughs> so we need we need more mischief um, you see he kind of peeks out both ends kind of looking around making sure no one's clocking him um, and he kind of shoots you guys a glance thumbs up um begins to run uh, at a crouch 
and immediately just runs completely into um, the wall of the next food tent over, um, which begins to kind of <laughs> collapse over him, almost trapping him in a canvas uh, and wooden uh, prison of sorts of its own kind. Um, you you also see uh, one of the <laughs> one of the women that took part in the uh, in the dating uh, lo lovers behind a door competition, uh, <laughs> um, who you know to be one of the security guards working uh, the festival, uh, kind of in the distance, turn her head as if she heard a kerfuffle. If you would like to do anything, now is the time. <laughs> I can't believe we have to help that guy. I know, right? I, I really dislike him. I, I wish I could throw him out of the island and let him fall down and get eaten by all the fish. But uh, <laughs> we have to work with him. If he tells on us, we're going to be in trouble. Yep. From under the tent, uh, a few feet away, you just hear, Oh no, I'm sorry, I can't get out! Um, and the person who was cooking in the tent just kind of comes outside and is like, What happened? I was just cooking! Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, God! Spioyum's back again. And you see the woman kind of turn her head like a hawk <laughs> and start to make a beeline for uh, Bjorium. Who is trapped in canvas? What would you like to do? We got to get him out of there fast. So maybe we need a distraction. We need a distraction, kind. and we need a rescue team <laughs> because we have to get him out of there. Um, do you want to make the distraction, or do you want me to make the distraction? Um. I could. I, <laughs> we we should discuss this because I I very well could um, summon a beast of some kind to cause some mayhem, but I don't know if that is overboard, my dear Tarquin. Yes, as much chaos as possible would be the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so All right. if you can make a, enough of a distraction so that the guards and everyone is focused on that, I will try my stealth and get him out of that. I am going to summon the beast that we killed um, in the first... Let me actually wait. Let me read it and make sure that I can do that. Ooh, it might be a bit big, but I'm not sure. Mm. The organ on? Yeah. Uh, bing, 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 bing. Gotta have a little Bjorium heist every now and then. <laughs> Where did I put the cats? Very good question. <laughs> Where are the Where are the cats? Luckily, I'm doing summon beast. Which is not Ooh. cat bag. I worry that I would bring out the cat bag and a oh very cute domestic cat <laughs> would come out and like that. Why that would be ruin it. Ruin my dreams like this, nigh. <laughs> <You know? laughs> exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> hey, it might work. It might be like oh, I'm a very cute kitten. True. True. But I think I think since we're working with Tarquin, we need chaos. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> do it. yeah, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do the the monster that we killed first thing on the island. All right, summoning a slightly smaller but still uh, fearsome uh, spined Wolgernon <laughs> into, into the shit. area. Um, and I'm gonna instruct it to not like try and engage with anybody unless they engage with them. Um, 
how, and, how can, mm, sorry. And it can attack tents and stuff like that. Oh shit. Um, how do you summon the beast? How does the spell kind of manifest? You just um, whistle your fingers. Aluro, and just like, Aluro sits down on the floor, crisscross, and leans over, placing their hands and palms against the the earth, and pulls their hands back, pulling the monster out of the ground. Fuck yes. Um, you do that, and from the ground, everyone in the surrounding area just hears a <laughs> under the ground, and just this woke not be dragged out of the earth beneath your feet. Just <laughs> that's slightly better than last time. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I would say that's enough of a significant distraction uh, to have most people kind of oh shit. Ah! Uh, panic mode. Uh, you see the the cop <laughs> kind of turn around and just... Oh, shit. Don't go anywhere, Piffles! I'm not... I'm not... I'm not behind Piffles. No, it wasn't me. Um, and they go and try and... Uh, just kind of surround it in a circle and just try to kind of calm it down. Um, as it swipes at the at the tent that's holding Burium. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so so that's happening. Uh, Ludo, you also see uh-huh. <laughs> that uh, out of um, the ground, Iloro has um, summoned a uh, spined Walgren on, uh, oh, which is what the exact thing we thought. <laughs> Yep, and it is, uh, no, uh, and it is a druid shit, uh, and it is attacking, uh, a food tent that's nearby for reasons unknown to you and Umberlai. All right, uh, I probably come walking over with Umberlai, hand around her hip, just kind of big smile on my face, and just, like, casually look at the chaos. Oh, that's pretty nice. What's going on over here? You hear Ludo a, a slightly familiar noise uh, in the close distance of just. Oh, get me out of here! I'm having a good time. This is the cops. Get me out of here! Oh, get me out of here! I don't want to be here anymore. And continuing. Um, oh, it's the little as, weird uh... guy. <laughs> yeah, it's him. Okay. He... Everything okay? Kurt... Yeah. He he got on our tracks a little bit about the uh, whole sausage fest, you know. <laughs> oh, the now we have to get him out. Colis. The Fort Callus, indeed. What? For, for... Oh, the sausage archway. Yes, it was very nice, very beautiful. <clears throat> very grateful for them to set it up there. It was very nice of the organization. Um. I, I don't, I don't think that's a thing. I, I don't think I've ever heard of a pork colors as much as I appreciate the pun. Yeah, it must be part of uh, the price we want because I only, you know, I only got you for rental. Didn't, didn't get to the, the tent, the tent, the tent. Darling. Yes, yes. I, I am not a rental kind of girl. No, you're not. I told you that, right? You said the thing with the heart forever in my pie. <laughs> just, just meanwhile, there's just chaos as people are like, <laughs> oh, there's a Wolgar on here! <laughs> and just Fiorium <laughs> trying to escape his canvas tent uh, prison and the Wolgar on just kind of trying not to get poked by uh, any of the guard or event organizers. So... Or indeed, eager adventurers. They're gonna be okay, or...? Oh yeah, I I mean I didn't instruct it to hurt anyone. Though people may definitely uh attempt to handle the monster. Yeah, it looks fun. <laughs> Just 
just the imagery of y'all standing around while <laughs> this is all going on. It's all right. beautiful. We have to take advantage of the situation and get that other sass out of there. Yes, so... we do. And we need to maybe disguise him somehow or just uh, just get I, him out of I this can... entire place. I can sort out the disguise. We just need to... I don't know what's going on, but I guess I'm here for it. Um... Let's go. I have an idea. Do you have a baby's clothes? Uh, baby's clothes? See. I reach in my fridge. Start, like, <laughs> you, like, the fridge is still like 80% water. 10% <laughs> fish and 10% wolgan on me. Well, it's an otter. He will like it if it's wet. Oh my god. Uh, no clothes. Just water splashing everywhere. No, don't find any clothes. You probably haven't teed the water out of that, darling. Well, fresh ocean water is very good for cooking. Very salty, is very it? briny. Full of nutrients. Yeah. I suppose so. How deep does it go? She kind of looks <laughs> in. She's like, whoa! It's <laughs> just an aquarium. <laughs> well, we can um, hide it there. Oh, put him in the fridge. Yes. There's uh, there's a little bit of air. Can't last forever. I found that out the hard way. And then I, I well, pet, too bad if it does. Pet friends and be like, you used to have a brother. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. That was dark. <laughs> <laughs> How could you? You well, won't let me kill this one. I'm gonna kill the other one. It doesn't even. <laughs> <laughs> We've been contractually obliged by Avi that we're not allowed to kill friends. If we do, we'll have to get rid of the emote. <laughs> so what are we doing? Chaos in shoes. What are we trying? We're trying to get Wait. an otter? <laughs> yeah, Ludo also wasn't present was at all for like this conversation. Minutes. Like, what happened? So... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me break it down. To... <laughs> yeah, y'all gonna inform Ludo of what's going on or just work with the ignorance? <laughs> no, no, no. We're gonna tell him. The world is ending. We have uh, another that is being the chased by guards. Ending. The world is ending. Otter. Maybe, we don't know. We have a Biorion who is being chased by guards, <laughs> and I'm if he starts talking, we're gonna be in trouble. So we gotta get him out of there. And then how come there's the big wolf guy? Oh, that is we, just uh, a distraction. Uh, yeah, we needed a distraction. So we need to go get the otter. Yes, and mm -hmm. hide it. Okay, we can put what him in happens? there for only like one minute, I think. We gotta hightail it. Then we gotta if, pull him out of there. If uh, just make it ten for just because we don't want to make sure he he's found. Well, if we don't help him, what happens? Does that really bear much consequence to us? Well, he did threaten to tell on us that uh, we are thieves or stuff like that, and we don't want any travels. Wait, is Biorian but... Piffles the otter? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I thought there was like See also an otter, otter that was part of it. Okay, got it. Yeah. Well, he'll. But if you haven't done a crime, then surely you have nothing to worry about, right? Squinting her eyes slightly. Well, there's something about sausages being stolen and stories like that. <laughs> part of me wants to be like, Umberla, you like your clothes, right? You like those clothes? <sighs> Let me, let me ask you she has, you yeah, worth mentioning, she has different clothes on again now. <laughs> um, <laughs> background to the first set um, <laughs> that she was wearing. Oh my god. Um, but, so, you all stole the sausages <gasps> to make You guys the did that for us. Oh god. Thank you. You got oh, and Ludo 
pulls us all in a big group hug. Oh, th <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the monster in the background is still screeching and yeah. tearing your heart to <laughs> <laughs> He's got my spear! <laughs> Just, yeah, chaos. So we gotta grab the little guy, put him in the fridge, <laughs> run away, and then pull him out and hopefully he's still got oxygen. This has canonically been like going on for like six minutes now, by the way. Like in, <laughs> in, in real real game time, which is... Uh, like in 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 game time, which is phenomenal. Um, He's gonna die of old age, so <laughs> let's get him out of there. All right, uh, go get him. I'll be right here with the fridge. All right. Umberly, you said that you might be able to help with um changing his appearance. <sighs> I do so hate doing crimes. She smirks a little bit at you, Aluro, um, and she follows along. You may roll in in, in inside if you wish. You may I would roll. like to. I would like to. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Seventeen. Holy shit! She may have partaken in some little little crimes here and there before herself oh. she may have dabbled in in some hijinks previously and seemingly gotten away with them thus far so there you go so what should we disguise him as hmm Really, anything that is very different from his own appearance will work. Oh, with my magic, I can only really... I can't change his height or dimensions or anything, but I could make him look slightly less like an otter folk and with different clothes. What looks like an otter that isn't too otter-like? An ugly baby? Well... The size is quite off. Um, it would be a five foot tall. Because this is an otter folk. This isn't just a dead ass otter. Um, my apologies if I didn't mention that earlier. So he is like he's like five four, uh, height wise. Oh. oh, he's very tall. For, he is. For a he's little otter, otter folk. I figured he was really tiny. I don't know why. <laughs> like an actual otter size. Yeah, that yeah. It checks out. It checks out. But no, he's he's yeah. Any any folk are usually above five foot or so. Although some can be shorter. So yeah, he's just a little old, little old man in dimensions. <laughs> I mean, we could put like a find a big fluffy hat or something to put on him. True. Okay, um, you go and detangle him. I'll go and look for a hat. Alright. Alright, I'll set him free. Okay, roll for, roll for stealth, anyone who's going to help. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, fucking chaos. I got a 24. Nice! Yeah, you make it to Bjorium seemingly unseen. I got a 22! Hey, same! Nice job, you guys! Self-team! 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 Do-do-do-do-do! You sneak over professionally. Um and get your way to the uh, kind of side of this tent that's collapsed and uh, and is containing uh, one Burium Piffles. Um, I know, I think I might die in here. <laughs> I hope so. I, I mean, uh, we're here for you. Oh, I'm right in here! God, Rob, you're the 
cops, and I didn't do it. We got you, come on. Follow us. You'll be free. Oh, it's you guys. Oh, you kept your promise. Of I'm course. Not going to rescue me and then put me in the hands of the cops. I'm not going back to jail. No, you're not. You're coming with us. Come on. Okay. It takes you a few seconds to <laughs> uncover him, find him from the <laughs> under the tent. <laughs> but you managed to get him out very sneakily. Um, it, it's he's not really that trapped underneath. It's just you know he's he's a bit old, a bit senile. It takes him takes him some figuring out to do stuff. So you guys are just like, oh, there you are. You're free. <laughs> um, do you beckon Ludo over with the with the fridge? Or do you wait for to see if Umberlai comes back? I would love nothing more than to throw him inside of the fridge, but <laughs> <I don't... laughs> if Umberlai has something. She hasn't returned just yet. She's still looking. Alright, we'll give her some time then. How are you going to hide Burium in the meantime? Just cover him back up. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, okay, there we go. So after a couple more seconds, you're just kind of trying to lean across and uh, hide him as best as you can. Uh, you see Umber like kind of hastily speed walking over uh, with a giant uh, very kind of day at the races hat just loads of flowers and adornments on it uh, frills and lace and everything uh, this is all I could find on quick notice will this do? I guess it, it will have to good enough Mm, kind of sh shoves it on his head. Ah, see, now it just looks like an otter with a big hat on. Well, it's not the otter they were looking for because the other one didn't have a hat, so... <laughs> <laughs> we are good at prime. Okay. We're gonna end up all in jail, and Bifon is gonna be like, "Where's the rest of the party?" <laughs> it's like, "Yeah, Bifon, we're gonna need you to come down to Central Station real yeah. quick. <laughs> Got a couple, couple people we need you to talk to real quick." <laughs> um, so, um, are, are you continue? How long does a summon beast last? <laughs> An hour. And fuck. Um, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> you just gotta leave him, leave him going until you've got him to safety. Yeah, can, can, the beast is gonna continue to be a distraction for as long as possible. But okay, um, you see, backup reinforcements have arrived. Um, you see, another person in the security uniform has uh, rolled up and is trying to calm the situation. Like, come on, guys, it's gonna be all right if we all back up. It doesn't seem to be attacking anyone. Uh, Willa, you can go and, uh, go and get the, uh, get the con if you want. She's like, all right, I got this. <laughs> and she's, <laughs> and she's kind of, kind of, gonna begin to come over and then sees, uh, the four of you with, um, so she sees you, Alora, she sees Tarquin, she sees Umberlai, <laughs> she sees an otter folk with a big floofy puffy hat with flowers on it. Uh, I'm going to roll... An investigation check. <laughs> really quickly. I'm going to say that the DC will not be that high. It will be a fairly easy roll because you have just put a hat on it. Oh, would you look at that? Um, you see <laughs> uh, the Janasi woman you know to be Willa. Um, just kind of look at the four of you. Her eyes settle on Burium. And, and she, her eyes just melt into a slightly sullen, exhausted expression, and her arms fold. Biorium? Does anybody 
everybody doing anything? Ludo, you are close enough to hear this conversation. If you would like to move in and help out. Um, okay. Oh. You do not have to. <laughs> Uncle <laughs> Jingjong. There you are. Oh, thank you. You found my Uncle Jingjong and his lucky hat. Oh, my God. I was so worried. Um, Ludo approaches. Yes. Just arms spread. Oh, Uncle Jingjong, come here. And he gives Biorium a big hug. Oh, don't touch me! Oh, Uncle Jingjong, you always say that. Ha ha, you're so funny, Uncle Jingjong. You're gonna get off of me. I can't breathe. Oh, thank, thank you, uh, strangers. You helped me find my uncle who was lost, and you saved him from the monster. Let's get you back home, Uncle. You, my friend, I love your effort. You are going to be rolling a deception check at disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got inspiration. I got the. What about that you plus got, 10 You got the D10 thing? inspiration. Yep, you've got right. a D10 of inspiration. So it's. <laughs> right. Becomes a normal roll. Oh, no, this is right? Oh, boy. I, I just can't wait to see the fan art of Burian oh. Piffles before and Burian Piffles after. Okay, so that's a 13 before the D10. I'm going to use the D10. Oh. 13 plus. Oh, yeah! That's a 23 at disadvantage. 23. Good job, right? yeah. I am going to do a roll for Willa. Because you'll bet you where she's got a. She's got a she, I bet she, she will have believe me. Ayo! With puns like that. <laughs> um. Uh. Oh, what does that do? Oh, no, that's not. Uh. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god. Go directly to jail, something, 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 something. <laughs> I'm just seeing if she has anything that can help her. She does. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. She's not actually that perceptive. She is just a small town cop. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. Okay. And she's going to use guidance on herself. Oh my god. What number do does she need to be? 23. <laughs> she raises an eyebrow. What did you say his name was again? Jing Jong. That's short for Jing Jongatan. <laughs> Jing Jonathan. <laughs> and, uh. Why is Jing Jonathan wearing such a, uh. floral hat? Oh, that is his lucky hat. He uses it to win at the races. All the time. That's how he became rich. I hate to inform you, but there aren't any races here. He not anymore because he put him out of business because he win all the time. Of course, you would know that as somebody who's been here a long time. You don't know me. Nobody knows me. <laughs> she kind of gets all up in your face, just being super edgy about it. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, no one knows her. <laughs> Puts her cop shades on. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm gonna roll a dice real quick. Um, <laughs> very good point. She is in the in the presence of. Oh, interesting. <laughs> um, I don't know what to do with that. Please, uh, Uncle Jing she can be She immediately turns her attention to Tarquin. Oh. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Probably. I've been around. Yeah, I bet you have. 
Oh, killing krakens, ice giants, that kind of stuff. Oh, yes, yes, you know me very well. Congratulations for you. All right, simmer down. <laughs> she kind of cocks her head towards Biorium. This your uncle? Yes. And he's been very... Not talking to you! Okay. Sorry, that was kind of harsh, but I am not talking to you right now. Feelings a little hurt. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, <laughs> just pats your shoulder. <laughs> She turns back to Tarquin. That your uncle? Tarquin. Sir. sir. <laughs> so, sorry, the, the audio cut off. I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. Um, Will look, the cop looks at you and kind of um, points her head at. Um, at uh, Biorium, and it says, Is that your uncle? Yes, of course. We, You know what happens with the elderly? They uh, sometimes get a little lost, and we were trying to help them. But that's yeah. all. Yeah. Not to worry. Hey, look. Clearly, you're doing a great job taking care of them. Right? We try our best. But thank you. I would say, make sure they don't get roped into any dodgy deals. There are a lot of illegal gambling going on around this time for the Festival of the Hunt. And I know that, you know, they like to bet on the races. And I wouldn't want to see them completely wiped out financially. You understand? Of course, yes, yes. Because not all heroes... Just in the background, just the wall going on, still just like... <laughs> <laughs> and people just... Ah! <laughs> She's just standing in front of it all, just look like not looking at the explosion that's happening behind her. Not all heroes slay monsters. Some of them just look after their slightly senile uncles. Yes. We have to take care of our families. Exactly. That's why you're a hero, Tarquin. Of course. That's my guy right there. She holds out a fist for a fist bump. Yeah, fist bump. Alright. I'll keep an eye on your uncle for you. Make sure he doesn't get into any trouble. Yes, thank you. Oh no, that's not exactly necessary. Think nothing of it, uncle. If I may call you uncle. Ah. Uh, kind of pure. Purium doesn't, for the first time, doesn't really look like he knows what to say. <laughs> and kind of looks yeah. over at all of you, just like. Ah. What? Well, I I have to say, at the races, I am commonly mis misunderstood for a criminal. I can't believe that would happen to you, sir. I'm very apologetic for that circumstance. That must be very stressful on you and your family. Your darling family who look after you so well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Alright, well, enjoy the festival. Good luck tomorrow, big boy. Kind of. Punches your shoulder and heads back to the fucking wall right. going on. <laughs> um, that actually worked. That actually worked. <sighs> I didn't doubt us for a second. And you know what? On that note, <laughs> that's where we're going to close it. <laughs> 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 oh my, yeah, she rolled a nat 20 on knowing who Tarquin was. I was like, what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> it, it means that the world is changing and it's becoming a better place. <laughs> maybe maybe you like these, these holes. Maybe Tarquin likes oh these I kind of like... I'm going to start tearing up the world and making new... <laughs> oh my god. Rip the yeah, world yeah. a new one. There's a change coming. Incredible. <laughs> I can I really cannot wait for like just the memes of just this is Biorium Piffles and then Biorium Piffles with a hat on like who is this? Uncle Jim I would Joe. not know this man if I saw him walking down the street. Definitely. <laughs> Uncle not Jing Jong. Uncle Jing Jong. The I fact can. he has to like wear that hat now for the entire rest of the festival. <laughs> 
That feels like a win-win situation. You know, that feels like a win-win. You kept him safe. <laughs> you kept the deal up. <laughs> but also, you've kind of slightly fucked him over. Um, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, well done. GG's. We didn't even get to the long rest, which was a distinct possibility. Um, so hopefully so, we will have... In, in character, what did uh, Bifon say? <laughs> what what is Bifon? Where did Bifon disappear to? We'll find out. <laughs> okay. He'll pro he'll probably tell you. He probably just went, yeah, I'm gonna uh, go and rest up or see what the prize was or, was or something. But right. as to what he gets up to next, he might let you know in the next session, hopefully. What the kind of hat was he wearing? Oh, Biorium? Yeah. Oh, just like really, really big, like big floppy Victorian frills, bows, Flowers. floral arrangement, yes. like baby pink. Um, <laughs> yeah, just very extra. Nice. Very, very, very Disneyland, uh, Mary Poppins style twee. Just, <laughs> yeah. Not not a hat one would want to be caught wearing um, in most situations. Um. Uncle Jing Jong's lucky hat. <laughs> I will never kill you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the fact he was able to even sneak up on you guys <laughs> get past your passive perception was a miracle. Because, yeah, he rolls everything at disadvantage. So, um. Impe impeccable work. <laughs> Um, the mystery introduction category for the day was, uh, I can't remember actually. <gasps> oh no. Um, oh, I think it was most likely to make a new friend. Oh. I think that's, I think, I think that worked out. Was... Yeah, I think Aluro made several new friends. And uh, yeah. an old friend. And Tarquin, yeah. Well, Tarquin was probably in the wrong place. But, yes. Good stuff, good stuff. Good session. And Thank you lots much, of lore. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Big GGs. Some good rolls. Some good rolls in there today. Fun times. <laughs> a lot of chaos. A lot of fun. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, you know, you've got to have... Um... <laughs> I leave for 20 minutes. <laughs> and the world <laughs> was set on fire. <laughs> Bur Burium Piffles has that effect on the world. <laughs> um, we, I was like, we have to, because uh, I had a list of things. I was like, this could happen, this might happen. I was like, well, what can what can happen without us needing a beefle? It's like, Burium, Burium, Burium Piffles. Um, which is ironic because I think he was one of the main sausage uh, criminals. So, it's, you know. <laughs> kind just, of fit just, the group. I just went in a little lore daydream like rant in my head. I was like, okay, mm. so we all we 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 complete the hunt, we go off adventuring. Uh Umberlai comes with us. Uncle mm. Jing Jong comes with us to keep up his keep up appearances. And then we're going into dungeons all the time. Umberlai and Uncle Jing Jong are left outside to watch the horses. They start to talk to each other. Oh they start my. to fall in love with each other. Suddenly, Umberlai's having an affair with Uncle Jing Jong. And then no. oh I started speaking out loud so that I would stop the mania in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to point all of the players towards the character discussions section of the Discord. Um, Darian has sorry. just a gift. No, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> that's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> There's an oh otter and a hat. That's, that, that's him. That's my that, I, don't, I don't know who that man is. <laughs> I wouldn't know him if I saw him walking down the street. I'm sorry to that man. Take the hat off. That's Barry and Biffles! <laughs> let, me, uh, let me see if I can put that on the screen real quick. Yes, please. <laughs> and thank you vividly for the thousand biddies. Holy man. Holy. Evie, a thousand bits! Oh my god! There's so many bitties! And Biorium. <laughs> Get Biorium's, everybody. Biorium Biffles. 
I can't tell them <laughs> his crimes because that might that might come out naturally, Ginny. He's sitting in for Bifan for the rest of the evening. Oh, I like how he's got a little bit of like otter snot on his face as well. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's great. Oh. Because he's old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's that's not that's not Bjorn Piffles. That's Uncle <laughs> Uncle Jing Jong. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Jing Jong, I've been. <laughs> fucking dumb for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel like I almost had you beat today, in the, like with the with the uh, the friggin' description of friends. When you kept asking me to repeat it, I was like, I'm I'm on I'm on to you. I've got you. <laughs> but you know what? You can never expect Burian Piffles in disguise. That's true. Or Uncle Jing Jong, who are definitely separate people. I've never seen them in the same room together, but I don't suspect that I don't suspect a thing. Yeah, I don't know like Burian Piffles. I do know very intimately my <laughs> uncle. <sighs> Gotta come up with that Uncle Jing Jong lore now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but yeah Ooh, thank you very much Key. this was a great sesh thank you it's guys awesome. amazing it's so awesome amazing playing today hopefully yes we will get the beef on back next week um, hopefully after some adventures of his own i wonder what he gets up to you know you know, Amelia left, so maybe she's gone. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we move on to the day, the day of the final trial, and going to dinner with some royals, some chill royals, but royals nonetheless. Um. And you can go with your friend, your fr new friend Orla and Zephyr. Um, <laughs> I can't believe Johnny escaped prison again. <laughs> you know, no, nobody, no, 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 he doesn't do crimes. He's just an old older guy. That's so. Um, but yes, if you enjoyed in the meantime, or just even if you're, even if you didn't, be sure to check, I guess. Sorry, uh, be sure to check out our wonderful players from today. <laughs> uh, be sure to check out the wonderful. Oh my god, I play choo choo! Second choo 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 chain! Double choo choos! <gasps> B, thank Zombie. you so much for the gift sub to our new friend. Thank you Ginny for gifting. <laughs> thank you for gifting a sub to Ginny, all caps, Binny. <laughs> I would love Zephyr to be my best man at the wedding. Oh, just to chip, to make Ginny suffer. Yeah, I am. So someone mentioned it in chat earlier. I am curious as to if there is a Luca, Tarquin, uh, Zephyr love triangle going on. Because oh. whatever love triangle w was going on, I don't think Octol is in it anymore. He got a natural three. It's like he's gonna he's gonna have the movie moment of being like <gasps> I'm gonna totally misunderstand the events and not communicate my feelings and what happened so that I can straighten things out and actually be sure. He's just emotional. I don't know. Does Zephyr have God's autograph on her forehead? I don't know. <laughs> I mean Argon one, God zero. I mean <laughs> just have to tune in to find out, I guess. Um, she's she's technically a, a temporary uh, traveling pilgrim here, so <laughs> not she's not like the other pilgrims. Um, but yes, if you have enjoyed today, be sure to check out our lovely players. We have Nike Kills. We have uh, Darian on you. <laughs> Oh no, I'm like having way too much fun. <laughs> That's a little harder. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, JC said. Hey. And, and spiritually. Hashtag believe in Bifon. We will have Dime Package again, but be sure to check out Dime. Uh, gets up to some really good stuff uh, on Twitch and on Twitter. Although on Twitter it is with an A I M instead of I M E. Uh, pardon me, and you can support all of us through various channels. Um, if you like the text adventure, uh, the text adventure, um, 
word it out once again. Uh, <laughs> wait. If you do like this campaign, which is a part of the text adventure universe, because I couldn't think of another name uh, right now, um, <laughs> you can check out the coffee there. Not only, not are not only can you support us there, and it gets us more money than Twitch does. Interesting. interesting. Um. You also have the opportunity to unlock benefits, like naming an NPC, getting an NPC character sheet, and art, and maybe even like a little personalized one shot. So that'd be fun. Oh my goodness. Um, and it will help go to all of us in supporting us and our technological failures, uh, because I know my laptop's been crazy the last few <laughs> weeks. Um, help us get new laptops. Help them get new laptops. Yes. Good. Help them get new laptops. Don't help me anymore. <laughs> You've helped me too much, everybody. Help, 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 help team. But yes, and we'll be able to look into merch a bit more. And um, it's just, it's a cool way. And if you have any ideas, and anyone who has supported the coffee or in future supports the coffee, gets access to all the sneak peeks. <gasps> I mean, it's just sneak peeks. The sneak peeks music, because there's going to be an audio drama when I uh, have brain. As soon as I have brain, there will be an audio drama based in the text adventure world, based on the very first adventure that took place in Issa Frey. Oh my God. And it may or oh not, may not be like connected. It's, is it all connected? I don't know. That would be crazy. Did they open the first veil? <laughs> did, they, did they tear the veil the first time? You know what? I'm gonna say no. But there is a but. <laughs> I can't just. I'm just gonna tell you everything. Oh my gosh. Um, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> but yes, you can check out and support the text adventure there. If you don't have money to support, you just being here and chatting and joining in and sharing and sharing your summary of the sessions in four pictures. Uh, is is all support enough and very much appreciated by everyone here, especially Uncle Jing Jong. <laughs> um, as is fan art and everything, we see it, we love it, we appreciate it so much, so 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 much. is is crazy. Um, I might also share like some of the playlists I've got for uh, inspiration in the coffee. Hey. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yes, thank you ever so much for coming and and joining us. <laughs> and um, in the meantime, uh, we hope you all have a wonderful week. We hope you all stay safe and happy and good times and um, things and stuff. Yeah. Any, any other? I feel like I'm forgetting stuff again. Any other words from anybody? <laughs> bye, I love you, bye. Bye, I love you, bye. Oh, and you can go to the Twitter to see even more text adventure stuff. We have polls and stuff in the week that you can join in with and stuff. Okay. And then there's more, more stuff. More, more stuff and things. Come say hi. Yay. Okay. Bye, bye, friends. Look after yourself. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> see you later. Bye. <laughs>